Hello everyone, and welcome to the 10th episode of the Recorder Round Podcast. This is a series in which we take representatives from different Recorder Rounds across the subreddit and discuss topical matters in the world of RRs. Joining us today, we have New Dawn. We have three quarters of the uh, regular team. Maximum 50 is absent today, but I'm joined as per Woo! usual. But <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's how we're all feeling. Um, I'm joined as per usual by Lego Beast. Morning, uh, Lego. morning, Lego. If you guys like, if you guys dislike the loud Lego beast, this is your episode. I'm wasting time <laughs> to yell or tell around to kill itself. This is what happens when you get the Aussies to come join yeah. us, and we we also have Casmic. Yeah, Hello. Okay. So yeah, and then representing Team New oh, we'll we have the organizer, Mr. BJ Plays. Hello. We we have Brodio. Hi. And we have the fantastic artist. We have Zev. Oh, one has an aspiration to become a dolph. No, I, to oh, become nice. a what? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what you just Not said. Right <laughs> Alright. Um, so, before we kick off, can I just uh, correct you on something that you said there? Yes. I don't think I've actually announced it, so here's a public yeah, announcement. Um, Brodio has taken the job of co-organizer of New Dawn now. Congratulations! So cool. so cool. All right, right. We we have Which organizer no Brodio. No longer interested, so Brodio has taken up the mantle. Good. I, think I, was get done. I really did. Ooh, not as clap worthy anymore. <laughs> 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 okay. The plot is aggravated as well. <laughs> <laughs> Couple of things that I need to say before we get into the topics. Number one, the monstrosity that you would have watched just before this was um, what happens oh, when no, I meet up in real life. Oh. What? <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> what? I think what? being attacked by cats. Sorry, kitten. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, sorry. Ben has kittens. <laughs> they're really cute but annoying and they're. Like I have keep... two kittens running around in my room, and one of them just grabbed my foot, <laughs> and it clawed into my toes, and started biting. And I was like, "No, no, stop that! It's good fun." Um, I meant for you. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, right, carry on. Okay, so yeah, that's what happens when I meet up in real life with Maximum Fifty and Katie Lawson. Uh, so we and did. Still alive, guys. I am somehow it's a mentally scarred, experience. but I think we can bond over this. We we may. Oh yeah, <laughs> she mentioned that. Um, she meant, she said Geelong was there. Survive. Yes, that was a interesting, <laughs> interesting meter. <laughs> mm. Wait yeah. a minute, Geelong met up with you guys? Yeah, it was me, Katie, and Geelong hanging out. How did you guys not get arrested? Because <laughs> 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 it's Australia. Oh yeah. my bad. No. When when we met up, thin white male randomly showed up. I didn't. I had no idea he was coming. Unwanted, by the way. No, no, no. I love thin, but me and Katie were just stood there waiting for Max. And by the way, he took like half an hour to show up. And then thin just walks over and gives me a huge hug. And he's like, "All right, bad man." And I thought it was Max. I was like, "What the fuck? You look a bit different to how I remember." Person? Yeah, he did. Ew, I don't like do being that. called Owen though. I hate it. No, I know you don't. You don't walk Fun fact: when I went to go hang, when I went to go hang out at Katie's house, I just always called her Einstein replica. No, <laughs> 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 it's not okay. I mean, um, at the first, I told Tony to meet up yeah. with if I meet up with Brody, yeah. for example, and I called him Brodio, I'd shoot myself. I mean, people I in IRL don't like. Uh, th there's some people that know that, like. My my school year twelve jumper says Brodio on the back, so literally my uh, entire school knew that I was Brodio. <laughs> different though. All right, let's get started before I fall asleep. <laughs> I playing with my power cord. This is weird. Oh Stop no, that. that could only end badly. Yeah, that doesn't. Okay. Um, but yeah, no. I we all tried our best to call each other by our actual names last time we met up, but yeah. like Spello got called Spello, and oh, that's just no. his nickname. Um, no, his, his last name gets shortened to Spello when you make it an Australian nickname, so it's fine. Brody was Brody. Um, I think 
I think I called um, Andrew. I called DJ Talica. I called him DJ all the time, even though he's a uh, Andrew. But yeah, it's it's tough. <laughs> yeah, it can be. Tough yeah. Like I called I called Thin Thin instead of Jamie because I don't know him as Jamie. <laughs> Also, Jamie's a girl name. I mean, I, I called Max Max and Katie Katie. Those two were pretty easy, I must have been. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, and the second thing I need to really say is um, it's been a while since the last episode, but thank you so much to Cute Shark for our updated art. It, it just goes to show how much better he's getting um, at doing art. Yeah, getting I mean, so the, fir the first one was brilliant. The, the <laughs> literally, yeah. He'll, if he makes one every two months, then we'll use it for like one episode each at this rate. So yeah. Um, do you want to get into the first topic? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Shut uh, up, Lego. Well, you know I don't like said, being rushed. <laughs> no, no, I don't. Oh. What did I say about three sets of art? I said uh, DJ will know. Well, thanks for that. You see, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying, but I just don't know. I think it's because you've done three sets of art for New Dawn, yeah? No, mm -hmm. no, I just, no, I just randomly said three sets of art. <laughs> I just. Let's go well, that already off. killed the mood. <laughs> Fuck sake. Okay, so yeah. Um, we're gonna do this thing that we've done for the past three episodes because we've had such a big gap that there's actually been a whole topic's worth of recorded rounds released since the yeah, last no episode. No one's fault, though. No one's fault. No one's fault apart from mine and BJ's. Yeah, what? it's your fault. Yeah, of course. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do the RR Roundup, which is where we take all the recorder rounds which have released in between the last episodes as well. When I say all of them, the ones that we deemed to like have the most to talk about. So don't be offended if your recorded round or one you were part of was not part of this section. It just means that it wasn't as high profile and we didn't Please, really have sir. as much to talk about. Yes. didn't know enough about it to talk yeah. about it. Yeah. But yeah, let's, let's start off with Frenzy Season 10. Now this one was... Uh, the only one on the list which I believe had actually aired when we did the last episode, but uh, I aired just... Phobia, well, Phobia hadn't started airing yeah. the intro, I think. Or no, the trailer, no, yeah, well, the trailer the had come out. Phobia, the trailer, right, yeah. so. uh, but yeah, uh, Frenzy well, 10 had just started, but now it's actually happened, we can probably I talk I can about talk it a bit about better. Frenzy 10 yeah. a little bit. <laughs> I, I used to organize the round. Uh, it's uh this is a pretty this is actually put it one of like the better seasons we've had in a while because we had to redo it once because we tried to combine a bunch of the old game modes into one and in the first attempt we I think we had to get rid of uh one or two of the game modes because it just did not work out as very, like well at all. Um, however, if you asked me how the game played, I wouldn't know. I died in episode one. Yeah, um, I was just looking at. Uh, <laughs> I feel yeah, that pain, I, dude. Yeah, no, no, no. Six first deaths. <laughs> Don't even try me. <laughs> this is no, but from what I heard, it was a pretty fun season, and uh, the winner, the, the winning team was not expected. I'm pretty sure. I mean, it was Sil and Sir, so. But Blue was never Blue didn't really do much. Uh. Uh yeah, but it, it overall was a pretty fun season, and I from what I heard, like the, I, I it, it was really good. Well. I watched a fair bit of it, and I think it was a really good combination of of things to make a good anniversary season. So, well, not anniversary, well, but like tenth well, season special. In the original season ten, we had more like old players. Like my original season ten team was me, Craft Crank, and Pencil Guy. <laughs> yeah. But, and, and we tried to get Burks, but his computer like exploded or something. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, I quite liked the fact that they did like the the mashup sort of effect it, it did work quite well i can see how like if you combine all of them it would probably be a bit of a oh, shit show yeah, no we were getting welcome to hell in here or whatever or go to yeah. hell i mean oh god yeah <laughs> gamble frenzy is a cool one i love gamble frenzy i don't like how you take damage from mining iron but whatever <laughs> no, that's just me I, pl I played a like one gamble frenzy private game and i think every single time i did a roll i got like the same thing of like two water breathing potions and like i ended up <laughs> spending like a stack of gold and i had 10 water breathing potions on me so yeah it's not yeah but um what other wait what other ones did they have in there because i forget now which ones um, they had to remove it was, it was quite a while ago one from season nine. the element um, what was it Elementals, Elementals Frenzy. Elemental Frenzy. Then they have the Season 6 game mode of where the guests are around, but I think they got rid of the fact that you can only heal at night. Yeah. 
because mm -hmm. that was not fun yeah, for a few people to be sick. Yeah, I actually like Prison in the Park. So, oh, oh, you have the host up? Yeah, yeah I'm just looking at it. I, I watched so, this season to get him closer today. Hey, I'm <coughs> not here when you're dying. Uh, Shadow Frenzy, Fortune Frenzy, Elemental Frenzy, and Teleportation. Which is so, a cool set of combinations. Just well, yeah, looking at this you, place, like, When you look at Gamble, Minor Wear, and uh, Bombers, they don't really add much. Well, Minor Wear does, because you get like a new item and all that. But um, when when I'm thinking about... uh, Oh, what did I just say? God damn it, I'm so tired. <laughs> Gamble. Gamble. <laughs> you can take damage or blow up just from mining an ore, so it's like... Or, or get like triple that ore, so it's pretty good. Yeah, it's a bit of a... Polar off of the extreme, but it was um a bit of a sh for like well a, a frenzy I suppose you could say. Okay, oh, the, I'm right, gonna yeah. shut up. That's, that's <laughs> what I was afraid of. <laughs> anyway, I I accidentally spoiled it. I accidentally spoiled it in last uh podcast. Oh, yeah. Congratulations to Sir. Please stop for getting his first recorded round win. Hey. Oh, yeah, you, <laughs> I said, you I said, said that. that straight up in the last podcast. Did, did anyone even notice? I never heard anything. I, told, I noticed to, to, that. I didn't know well enough what happened. I was okay, there and well, I didn't even know it, so to be fair. Yeah, neither did I. You were like, you idiot, you spoiled it, and I'm like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I, tried, I tried to remove it, but I wasn't going to sit through like two hours yeah, no, just to try and find it. Especially since I didn't hear it myself, I had no idea when it was. Like, So I just hoped that no one would notice. And to be fair, no one watches this shit anyway, so... <gasps> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you want to move on to the second one? Yeah. I'm just gonna well, uh... this post real quick. I just gotta say, two people died to the same zombie pig man. Yeah. Hey, what? There's more kills so than Lego's ever got in our hours. Both died That's to the right. same zombie That's pig right. man in the nether. <laughs> That's amazing. That. <laughs> I just watched that, man. That's awesome. Alright, let's continue. Oh, so yeah, yeah Newdon 13. I think there's probably three people here who can talk about hey, this better than I can. Okay, wait. Before, <laughs> we, before we go on with Newdon 13, gotta say, it's a pretty good intro. <laughs> yeah. One moment. Oh, uh, that was... Cryptic made one of the best intros I've ever seen in quite a while. Yeah, and someone, it was his first, and someone too. made some pretty good art, really wink, quickly. wink, nudge, nudge, you're the guy below me in TeamSpeak. 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 Yeah, well done, Zev. Yes, a very, very good job. I don't know if anyone ever says good job to you, but good job. Oh, yeah. I, I, I give her all the praise in the world, don't you worry. <laughs> like to. I mean, much, to be honest. Who, didn't someone leak it? Like, someone had uh, their episode public. Flat. Yeah. <laughs> oh too my early. god. So, that was unfortunate. And it got, a, like, a notable number of views. So I it did get little... quite a lot, yeah. <laughs> a little sad. It didn't help that people were tweeting about it happening, because it meant, rather than it just being his subscribers, oh. anyone who wanted to could just look oh. for his channel. Ratchet. And look at it. And how often are you looking up Flap on YouTube? So <laughs> how can you honestly? not look up Flap on YouTube? <laughs> so, uh, so that's a Thursday for me. Really, really good. I think. I, I personally thought it was one of the best ones. Even if Ben didn't get to play. I do normally play. say that after every season, so. Yeah. I like the Honestly, newcomers. I, doesn't play. I, I was pretty happy with the newcomers. Especially Megan. Yeah. Megan's cool. Megan was an out-of-the-box newcomer, but I uh, needed a sub, <laughs> to be honest. And I was yeah. like, hey, Megan. Wait, what time yeah. was it for Megan? It was, it was... not a good time. I was say, cause, like... To be fair. We we were playing my there was a group of like six people yeah, in the team speak no, playing Mindplex my and it was like four AM <laughs> in America at the time. And uh Oh yeah, and you were real subtle about leaving it too. <laughs> ben just messages me and is like, yo, can you get Megan to sub? And I'm like, Alright, Megan, let's go to a different channel. And then uh, I don't do a very good Megan impression, so and then Megan got the sub and and she's Michael now a full time a... member of the round. And then Michael was supposed to be a special guest for season oh ten. Was it ten? Yeah, yeah. It was free for all. God. He was supposed to be a guest for mm -hmm. ten and he the uh, slept the in. Better. And then he was meant to be a sub for eleven A and he slept in. And he was meant to sub for twelve and he slept in. But season thirteen he turned up, so <laughs> there we go. <laughs> you should have just been like you had your chance. 
Mm, yeah, well, I don't like to do that to people I have to sub. There are Campbell's here! People I have to sub. <gasps> All right. Oh, well, well, welcome to our very, very Hi. special guest, Mr. Campbell. Hello. Hi, Campbell. All right, so do we want to jump to the, the topic Campbell can talk about then? Which, wait, wait, which one would that be? That would probably be the origins of Nudon. Okay, so we're going to, this is usually the thing we do at the end of the episode, but since Campbell's here, we're going to talk about the origins of Nudon. I'll hand over to you guys. Do you want to take off, bud? Or do you want me to take off? Um, do you remember how it all started? Oh. Uh, I think it started around the time, um... Uh, what, what was that recorded around his name oh, that we... Uh, special Year HD? That's the one. That's <laughs> <what I'm saying. laughs> oh, that's my, um, my greatest achievement. Before New Night yeah. existed... Um, there was an Australian record round, its name was Miners Down Under, it was a fantastic record round, it was run by Joey Ken. I, when I joined, I was a big Break Solid Burgasm YouTube subscriber, I love those guys, and we're good friends now, so it all turned out really well for me, but I, I really liked them, and I watched them play MDU, and I was like, damn, I want to play that round, <laughs> and then within, like, 30 minutes of my first conversation with Joey Ken, I really pissed him off somehow i was just an absolute like fanboy arsehole um and i was like you know what i want my own recorded round because i'm never going to get into that one and that's how special year hc began and i got all of my good friends and seven of the 21 people who played uploaded <laughs> Me included. Whoa. yeah campbell campbell include campbell um actually you were a day before i'd never even spoken to you when you first yeah, played, right. but Special Year HC is on the subreddit, I have lied, it is, sorry, 11 people uploaded in the end. I've never actually heard of this, I'm really curious yes. now. <laughs> let me, I'll, I'll drop the link in the TeamSpeak channel so you can have a look at it now. Um, it was, it was actually a reasonably good season too. Um, yeah, it, uh, it was pretty, <laughs> pretty hideous uploading rates, and I, uh, was very upset afterwards, and I kicked everyone who didn't upload except for... I think it was about 10 Wax people in the end. I think Wax was the only one that didn't upload special that still got to play. Um, and said, alright, I'm going to make a new one, and I made new on. And I refused to set a release date for new on until everyone who played had uploaded. And it took eight days for the entire season to be uploaded and linked to me before I even said, hey, we're going to release now. Wow. And I kept that for seasons one and two. I had 100% upload rates for both of them. Um, season three, I had everyone but Blaze the Polymath who lost two episodes or something. And that became a recurring theme for Blaze, and he uh, no longer gets to play Newton because of it. Um, but yeah, it was done differently and then all of a sudden uh joey can message me and was like hey i want to talk to you about minus and under and i got to play that too so everything went really well after that but yeah um in setting that up campbell and a mega matt were the two people that i got the most advice from and they ended up essentially being my uh organization group for new dawn which has changed a lot since then that's right yeah and then um I think we ended up getting British Elite around as well. Yeah, Brit yeah. came out of nowhere as well. He, um, Campbell, you were, who were you? You were, it was Jimmy that said I should add you, right? Yeah, I believe Jimmy it and was. Nick were Jimmy like, and, hey, yeah. Because I was sort of like, I was, I was good friends with them at the time, and, um, and I think I, I just like building and things, and Nick had a yeah, service. Yeah, you built so. the spawn for us, that's right. You built yeah, the spawn the for one. special, and we were like, hey, do you want to play? Yeah, and, uh, I had no yeah, idea what history. was happening at this point, so I was just like, alright, I'll play. <laughs> you still managed to be a better uploader than everyone else, so. Well, it's because I knew how to record and all that stuff, mm. so it wasn't, yes. it wasn't too difficult for me. Um, yeah, and then from then on, I used Campbell as my personal intro slave for ten seasons. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't uh, mind it, though. He quit before the tenth one. Exactly. You're right, it was nine. It was nine seasons yeah. and then one season of special. The tenth right. one was really good to you. Yeah, the tenth one actually turned out okay. Um, both of the eleven were a bit Kevin iffy. Mcnult. 
didn't wait. Didn't Quill make one of the eleven? Quill ones? made eleven B and Berg made eleven A, and they were both, you know, not bad intros. They were just not to a similar standard as the others. I think yeah. Bytex was made the tenth one. Yeah, didn't Kevin yeah. made ten, and he did so yeah. well. And then Zane and Sid, respectively, made twelve and thir thirteen and twelve, and uh, yeah. <clears throat> they were fantastic. <laughs> Wait, uh, which one was the one where it was like all the wanted posters or something, and it was that like was, he was on that the was eleven. That was yeah, really yeah. good. When eleven, wait. So when eleven came out, did you plan on making it eleven A and eleven B? When oh, we recorded this one. eleven, um, I, I, I was in the channel while well, the mumble for that. <laughs> <laughs> when we recorded eleven, we went okay. Oh my god, no, you can't. Sorry, one moment. <laughs> yeah, I'll take I have a glass this. of water on my desk. Buried her face in it to try and drink. <laughs> Basically, Aww. you know how after a recorded round, everyone Bro, sticks around and talks. Yeah. Well, everyone in the mumble to mumble that season after the first take was basically like that was some absolutely amazing, one of the most fun rounds we've ever played. We want to do it again. And then I think it was either it was me and Jamie that the idea of how Minecraft did two seasons fours. And we're like, well, it's an anniversary. It'd be something special and unique. Why don't we do that for New Dawn? Yeah, and, and uh, I was. We pitched the very idea to BJ, and we, we sucked up, and we're like, oh yeah, the people who missed out, like you, because you bumped a creeper, wink, wink, can get another chance to play. Yeah, and they. Uh, and I think they that really was the thing that won him me. over. And I went, okay, this would be interesting. And I thought, okay, well, do I need to redo this season? And I went, no. Nope. No, this is fine. We it was a bit iffy on server lag and such, but everything that happened in the actual round was good enough that we didn't want to change anything. Um, so we decided, hey, why not? We'll do it twice, and we'll just release it immediately afterwards. And it was a lot of work to try and get it kept under wraps, so no one accidentally said, oh, 11A when they recorded it or whatever. Um, but yeah, the general consensus was we'll do a second season. If it's amazingly better than the first one, then we'll just release this one. Um, if it's terrible and the first one is amazingly good compared, compared to it, then we'll just release the first one. Um, and if they're both reasonably good, then we'll release both. And they both turned out to be completely different, and uh, people played like arseholes in the second one, whereas in the first one, no one wanted to kill anyone. Um, <laughs> and then, yeah, it all turned out really well and we ended up with two seasons out so what, I was quite what would you have done that? if the second one was so much better so you just decided to go with that one but surely there would have been so many people who played it who would have introduced their episodes of welcome back to new dawn season 11b and if you'd only released that one there'd be people thinking yeah the fuck it's like what um, if you what if when I you had a redo you just re you you actually said the redo number it's like welcome back to episode <laughs> two <laughs> of uh <laughs> season seven. season three attempt number eight now <laughs> oh i should have <laughs> people <laughs> comment wait, wait, wait didn't none of you do that for rounds that get redone yeah if it's <laughs> <laughs> shut up <laughs> Wait, I'm not joking, I'm not joking. Wait, you actually joking. do that? Yes, I do it in every round. If a round gets redone, I'm not hiding that. <laughs> Gen no, no, generally though, if there's a round gets redone, people often mention that in their commentary. Yes, so. I do it mm. every time. They don't say like... Especially if they do well in the first attempt and they oh, want to no, make everyone know. <laughs> they just say, like, hey, yeah, guys, there's it's a... Lego Beast, and welcome to the third attempt of this yeah, or whatever. But like, they'll just say, yeah, this season got redone because blah, blah, blah. Hopefully this gets better or something like that. Yeah, in but the first I, take, I, I did this. Personally, don't like the way people do that. I'd rather just have done, and then if it gets redone, then you don't mention what happened before. <laughs> you just forget it ever happened. You start again. Well, no, you're not supposed um, to say what happened. People you don't say it gets do redone. that. Yeah. Um. Anyway, but yeah. So had it had it gone that you know type uh season b or whatever it is uh was substantially better than a then i probably wouldn't have released a because it would have been very mediocre compared to it but i would have found a way around that but as that so happened they both ended up being very very good going into it i didn't think we were going to end up with anything like even close to as good as a had been and uh i was pleasantly surprised so yeah because you won i did win <laughs> And what a coincidence. we also managed to have um, a winner's perspective that was not viewable, which was great, and the people he killed were not viewable, so no one actually knew what happened at the end of B for about six hours until Santa got his perspective up, yeah. um, which was a gigantic organizing mistake on my part and something that I'm not going to let happen again. 
what was the round that nobody knew who won and we ended up trashing it on this like a couple of episodes ago, was it Kratos three? Yeah, it was Kratos three. Oh god, yeah, like the the final two, neither of them had their footage up, so not, I don't think anyone to this day knows who actually won no, the no, season. No, someone, someone made a montage of it, and they actually had the winner's footage in it. So why was it never linked? There is a winner. Okay, we can confirm that there there was a winner. Okay, that's good. Cause yeah, I ended up posting on the Reddit post and being like, uh, yeah, so <laughs> this is what this is what happened. But yeah, Cassandra died to PvE, and I think so I killed Brody or someone else killed Brody. Yeah, Kurt killed Sainter, me. Yeah, Kurt killed you, and then Sainter's I died killed you. to Sainta, and Cassandra died to PvE, so it was just Kurt v. Sainta, and, and Kurt and Sainta also died to actually PvE. Uploaded. P so yeah. Sainta died to PvE as well, so... And then we had a solid well, so. PvE ending, which was uh, so, very interesting. <laughs> the last kill oh, was Sainter's actually Sainta killing available. you. So you can't <clears> watch <throat> who won season 11B anyway. Oh, there you go. That's unfortunate. There you go. That's what happened. Surprise. If someone Lovely. had made a montage of it already, that wouldn't be a problem, but you know. Yeah, well, if. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Wasn't Shop gonna be a montage? Huh? Shop was doing season 9 and then his computer broke, I'm pretty sure. Classic. Yeah, montage time. making Sandra is so, so much work. Dying. It is, it really is. I've made a few and I retired. <laughs> like, it's just awful. Like,. Downloading oh, yeah, the clips is right. like the worst thing because it it takes like twenty minutes to download the clips off YouTube and you might use like a five second clip from someone's episode and you're just thinking did I really just spend twenty minutes downloading that? <laughs> yeah, I actually hang on, let me have a look because I did download a fairly large chunk of the videos. Um, I may actually have them. Which anyway, to the next topic. I've made one and four, and I did some work towards doing ten, but I never actually finished it. Oh yeah. Don't montage ten, the winner sucks. Yes, but... <laughs> wait, 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 so ten and eleven were back-to-back -back seasons, and they were both FFA, you said? What? No. No, I, none of that happened. <laughs> what? What are you wait, what? Eleven. Lego's tired. A. Give him a break. No, no. Not eleven was. A, oh no, eleven was like love it for a sight or something, wasn't it? No, no uh, eleven was, eight was love it. For what a was eleven? <laughs> eleven was eight Mumbles, was love the it for sight. Nine secret was teams and, and uh, allies with custom terrain. Oh yeah. ten, right. Ten was FFA. Eleven was allies, and you had a secret team of two that you got oh, right, given yeah, in episode me. three. And so there were two it, season it worked as an because it was a two-year anniversary. At the end of the day, it was always a solo versus solo to finish the All game. Right. So, uh, but yeah. Anyway, moving on. Is there anything else to say on the new Dawn Origins, or do we want to carry did on? About? Um, someone sarcastically came up. I think <sighs> who would it have been? It might have been Curry. Was it Curry? It yeah, might have been Carrie. Someone sarcastically said this is a new dawn of record of Australian recorded rounds or something, and the most obviously sarcastic thing. And I went, I love it. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to highlight one last thing in that we all just appreciate that Curry fell asleep during a season of New Dawn. Uh, <laughs> not one of season two. Season, two? season mm. one. Season uh. one, we had um, three attempts of it. Oh, One, was it the, the server oh. died halfway through. Two, the server lagged out for the entire thing, and then three, we moved to a different server because why wouldn't you start with that? And uh, it went really well. But during the second one, Curry had just come back from I think Europe, might have been New Zealand, one of the two, um, and was severely jet lagged, and um, sat there and farmed a blaze spawner. And I think it was like episode four or something was farming a blaze blaze spawner and just fell asleep. And there was 15 minutes of Kari sitting at this blaze spawner sleeping. <laughs> to be fair, uh, so Tamina Season 8 took so long to start that Zephic fell asleep during the pre-game. <sighs> That's why we had a team of two newcomers of Lake and Cute. It was Lake and Zephic, but then when we were all in the spawn waiting, uh, <laughs> Zephic fell asleep. So we ended up kicking him and getting Cute to sub with Lake. 14. Uh, for like, just like, just like, well, you can't see it because I, I don't have my perspective, but... Just nice. like, there, I, I'm like walking through a cave and I just pass out. <laughs> and, I, and, then, and then I wake up like a minute later and I'm like, ah! And I'm like, oh, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> really, 
I've been waking up and a creeper had like exploded you. Well, I did. I did tie to a creeper. Yes, but <laughs> of course. <laughs> not because I was asleep. Not because I was asleep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I it turns out I've not downloaded anything from ten at all, and anything from eleven B at all. I've just got random episodes from random people from the last nine seasons. Nice. They're not even, like, ones that they won. They're just ones in the middle, like episode three from Brody in season eight. <laughs> season nine, rather. I think I was going to play season eight. <laughs> I was yeah. there for season eight. Never I couldn't finished. record. It was my birthday. And then yeah, you all ditched me great. to play Noodle. And then everyone ran away. <laughs> 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 it was a great day with Brody all my friends on my birthday. And, birthday and, everything. and, and then we were all just like, well, bye. Oh, yeah, did, did they all come back at once? Huh? Well, back you know Nude on, it took like uh, eight hours. No, I had to, uh, f the thing is, my computer was then off for the next six hours because I was updating it so that I could record. Unfortunately, yeah. it was yeah. very sweet. And Mitch could record like, the very you next day record, after season eight. Nude on. And, uh, yeah. that was where my first mistake began. <laughs> anyway, Yay, okay, Nudon. anything else you want to add? Um, I can't think of anything. Alright, do we want to do okay. the World Cup as the next yeah, or round? Uh, well, that that was the next round. That was the next yeah. uh, round up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Unless you want to talk about some um, intros while Campbell's here. Oh yeah, do you want to do that? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we, yeah, we could do that. All right. So, topic number two. So we, yeah, we'll come back to like the rest of the RR roundup later. But whilst we have camp, we're gonna do like the topics that he'll actually have some chance of um, knowing what's going on at the moment. Yeah. So, so uh, a couple of days ago was released the um, uh, like the submissions for version three of the top one hundred intros, which has been done every year for the last two years uh, under burning tramps. And this year he gave it over because he doesn't. I doubt he has time for it anymore. Too was it AJ still? He gave yes. It yeah. So he's got his work cut out because I think the post has six hundred comments it's at this point. Seven hundred. Okay. Okay. Seven hundred. I want to point out. I read about ninety percent of these comments, and more than half of them are repeats. Well, yeah, they would mm. be because no one's going to think. I want to post this. I'm going to read through seven hundred comments yeah, to make no, sure no one suggested it already. Really, yeah, like, because I, I did, I did Kaoki's job for him, and I posted about. I think I posted all the ambition seasons except for the bad ones. Six, <laughs> six. <laughs> Well, six is an awful intro. You can't deny that to me. Sorry. Uh, I love but, six. Fuck off. Which one? No, six is like the MMO one, right? Yeah, I love that That's intro. The worst one I've ever okay, it's a good intro. <laughs> anyway, but anyway, um, so I posted then after I was like, oh, let's see what everyone else posted, and then I posted a few others. Like I posted the last split season. I posted a few phobia seasons because why not? As I'm reading them, like ten other people already did all the ambition seasons. I'm like, why did I even do this? Nice. <laughs> yeah, but I mean. I, it's gonna. I hope this one's gonna be good. I was not a big fan of the order of the second one. No, so. I wasn't. I wasn't a fan of the winner. Oh, uh, bad fan. Do you want to schedule a date and watch it together, me and you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, to be fair, I think yes. I think they did that on the Sank TS last year. They watched through yeah. all the submissions as a group. I wasn't there for it, unfortunately. Yeah, I was good time about that. I assume I assume something similar will happen but, again yeah, this I mean, year. I think I think like when you sure. when I first saw like oh it's like six hundred comments I didn't really think about that there'd be repeats and then as I'm looking like yeah like I see there haven't been six hundred intros Lego I mean I know there's quite I a lot know, of RRs but there's comments. not that many. I think intros are comments. Oh well I mean every comment is a submission so yeah I know but it's kind of it's kind of. It, 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 I assume he's gonna take like the votes on each one, on like one individual one. I feel like because you can't take like like if each ambition fourteen has like twenty upvotes, you can't take like twenty plus twenty plus twenty like that. To be fair, I but think he I think he had the right the idea. One? Yes, the yeah. upvotes. No, he's I he's I think he said that you have to you can upvote them if you agree, but I think he mentioned somewhere in the post that there will be a form at some yeah. point. Yeah, yeah. What they do is they take all the submissions and then they put them onto one massive form, and you can watch through all of them, and then you vote for like up to thirty intros that you want to be in the list, and then like whichever ones have the most votes get in. And like you vote for your top, then you vote for them in groups of ten or something. So like your top ten, and then your second ten, and then your third ten, and then if there's ties on the order, it goes into like. 
like how many like where they ranked on people's order that's how burning did it last year and i assume he'll keep the same system i think um aj had the right idea doing submissions as a reddit comment rather than a google doc just because the shit posting that would go too. on yeah speaking of repost shout out to lego beast for reposting the new norm 13 intro on that thread you're welcome <laughs> <laughs> i also posted new on 10 yeah you reposted 10 as well thanks for that and 12 I did not do 12. He did, I no, saw No, someone him. else has done 12. Ooh, I just sorry, uploaded you. Oh, thank you. Posting well, season 12. <laughs> My did one, post 12 as well? The one complaint I, I have I with which like... Which one was 12? Oh, 12 was... Oh, yeah, because I posted 12. 12 and, like, I posted up to 10, like, which one was the first one Shuku played? I remember that being a good one. And then I just... You were wrong. Uh, I, what? <laughs> All right, whatever you say. <laughs> Delete the, <laughs> the, the complaint I have with the top 100 intros thing is the fact that there's always going to be a bias towards intros which have released recently. Because sort of like modern pop music, intros date a lot of them. So the some rounds, you know, they'll they, the intros will stay good forever and you can watch it back I'm in a couple of years and just think... That was oh, a good please. intro. I'm I'm really glad that there. But then some intros, you know, you know you'll watch them, the you'll watch them when they no first come out, one. and then you'll think, hey, that's a really good intro. But then you might watch it a couple of times if you're a big fan of it, and then you'll just think, actually, yeah, I don't like this as much as when I first watched this. So when you've got a round which is released recently, especially if there's a lot of hype for the round itself, it will persuade people to vote for it. It's like I think the AP10 intro did not deserve to be number one. Like, um, I'm sorry, it, I it didn't. Agree, Is that the I one that had a different intro? Yeah, intro for every episode. It kind of only got there, I think, probably because of the effort that went into it, having a different intro every episode. But if you ignore the fact that there were seven different versions of it and you just look at the first intro, what it's, about it's the intro, intro, not, what about the intro like gives it the rank intro. of the greatest intro yeah. of all time? Like, it was released around the same time as it had been released, and everyone was still like, Yay, yeah, AP10! Like the Woo! When I, when and then it was, was just watching, a bit not um, that great, honestly. When I was watching that, like, I think, I remember who I was watching it with, but, um, it, it was like, what, we were getting to like, the top 10, and I'm like, hmm, I haven't seen, like, a few of these. Uh, I haven't seen, like, a few of these, and like, yep. And then someone, I remember who it was, brought up AP10. I'm like, I hope that's not number one. Yeah. And then, and then I saw like it was number two, and there were like seven minutes left. I'm like, what is he gonna do here? And they're like, oh, he's doing the whole thing. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just saying that yeah, TBA two. I reckon it's up to the standards of like an intro today still. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Oh, yeah. Like, it, it's that's August 2015. It's dated really, really well. I, I mean, as much as I love that intro, there's no. It's not way. like a number it, one it'll be, intro. It'll be lucky to like, crack top ten just because of yeah, how like I don't people. Think, yeah. I love it a lot, but I don't think it'll crack top 10. The but standards I, have gone up a hell of a there. lot since it came out, yeah. though. Yeah, like, I'm like, honestly hoping New York 13 goes top 10. Of, I don't know. I think 12 and 13 should both be fairly... At least on the list. I think 10 should be number oh, 1. Both. My favorite show. I'm gonna put season 4 in again, because season 4 is one of my favorite intros of all time. Yeah, 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 that's the one I'm talking about, uh, yeah. Green Doom's good. old Christmas trees. Uh, oh, suddenly Beagles. But no, Campbell's Christmas tree intro was amazing. And that's what I loved about Campbell's intros. Every single one of them wasn't just your simple standalone showing the players. It always hey, had that wait. little bit more detail to them. Oh, that's 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 learning after effects as well. So wait, hold on. Campbell, can I... Yeah? Campbell, can I ask? Um, because when you've done the four, we used um, Faded by Alan Walker. Was it before it became mainstream? Yes. Oh, boy. Well and truly. Well and truly. I heard it on the radio the other day, and I, I lost my shit. Wait, wait, wait No, wait because I've been hearing it all day. Like, because this, because every single shopping center has, like, this... They want to be hip, so they use some EDMs. And who, who would they play? Alan Walker. I would just yeah, like yeah. to I would just I like to point like, out that I the vocal stuff. version the vocal version of uh, Fade Faded has one point two billion views on YouTube. Wow. It's a good song to be fair. <laughs> the, the the lyrics version. I like it. I'll say I love the version we used in New Dawn because I played around with that in editing both the montage and my perspective of it for a lot of hours and I heard it so many times and I'm still not sick of it. <laughs> It is a good song. 
my, my yeah, favorite and then season uh, seven as well. BJ's has a uh, song that's still on my uh, noodle and my soul Spotify in the pack. Oh yeah, that's great. Because I love because it uh, replaces all the records with um the noodle and intro songs that's in his own pack, but it, I've got just like a overlay yeah. for it. I love hearing it whenever it is. It's great. <laughs> it's well, a good throwback. It was always quite a struggle to find music for those intros, I must say. I'd sometimes spend hours. Oh just yeah. Um, going you know what music. I miss the most about you doing our intros, Campbell? Getting them up. Them really getting quick. done. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Everyone yeah, I... since you has taken like five weeks, six weeks to be done, well, but I you would do them in twenty-four in hours. Like... Uh, well, hear, hear this: the WMC eighteen intro. I did that in two days when. Um... Shut up, Brick. He he just couldn't finish the one that he was making. So my opinion is that if like, Brick wants... had managed to finish that intro, it would have hit number one on the top 100 intros yeah, last year. It would have, would have been the best amazing. intro of all time. Honestly, it was absolutely unbelievable. Like what he had done with it. I'm so upset yeah. he never finished it. Yeah, I'm pretty um, pretty disappointed he never got to finish it either because I was really looking forward to seeing that the intro when it was finished. Oh, so just to say about record around songs, um, it was I think New Dawn Ten was uploaded like after WMC eighteen. So yeah, when Bitexel told when Bitex when Bitexel told me that he'll be using um, he'll be using like the song he's boss using. Like, I think it was I think it was also boss fight. Yeah, it was. And yeah, it I was. thought I thought I immediately was a bit hesitant because I thought it's just going to be a rip off for your intro for WMC eighteen. But I was wrong. That was completely different. Yeah, I was wrong. <laughs> uh, Campo, I have one question for you. Was yeah. it WMC 18 or New Dawn 10 that made you quit? <laughs> New Dawn 10. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> New Dawn 10. You know, you know, you know, I, know, I was like, please, please do it. And then you died. You died in such a sad way. Did you die to a creeper in the end? It was a yeah, creeper, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a creeper. Oh, Campbell, I'm so sorry. The, the, the it makes you feel any better time. after 11, you and I are on the same number of creeper deaths, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, the thing was, I was... I don't know, I was just, um... I wasn't feeling UHC anymore, and mm -hmm. that game was just yeah. sort of like, I'm done, I don't want to play this anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think we can all relate to that at some point. Except for Brody. Brody will never stop. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Alright, moving on? Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I suppose we've talked quite a lot about the older intros and like, you know, ones that were good back in the day, but I suppose we, what about the sort of ones which have released in the last Need year which are going to break onto Need that on list Need for the first 13. time? Yeah. Um, Nuzlocke. Can... Nuzlocke. Five and six, Ew. they've both got to be pretty high up on their show. Six is so bad. They probably will be. Nuzlocke five like and six, six were both incredible. Nuzlocke six was probably the best for like effects and like how well made no, it was. I I refuse to argue with anyone in this podcast about intros anymore. <laughs> Because of what it has done to me. I respect your opinion on the Cynical 5 intro, but how no, can you... you... Don't. No, how... you don't. No, no, I don't like it either. We are... I only do it to take the piss out of you. Are you... Are you... Yeah, I, I hate it too. It's slow and boring. I'm going to rewatch every podcast um, so when I hear you say what? Yeah. This whole podcast is a lie. I don't like anyway, it either. I just take the anyway, piss out of you because okay, I know it's okay. noisy. Okay, fine. Fine. Chasmic and Max... Ooh, they, they get, always get so mad at me whenever I say it. Are we no, talking no, Cynical no, 5 don't or Nuzlocke like 5? Don't, Brody, the, Nuzlocke 5, is that the one where like the people talk in it? Yeah. Yeah, awful. Nuzlocke 6. That ruined Nuzlocke the intro, is... I'll admit. Okay, wait, Nuzlocke 6 is the one with like Mirror B, right? Yes. Yeah, the music like is good. One. The music is good. Don't like the intro. Ooh, the intro is great. The effects on it are so good, but like the previous art flashing when the next one comes in. Like the music was oh, really I good. Don't like, I don't like how okay, like yeah, I don't no. how like when you see like the shadow person, it goes it makes like that that sound. Like why? Just let me hear the music, please. Awful. That was really good. The talking okay, did really cringily good. ruin the season five intro. I'll admit that <clears throat> some of them were better than others. Hey, did there a seal? <laughs> yeah, well, you said you could say it, didn't you? Yeah. 
and yeah, uh, the Canada wasn't a big fan intro, of that. I think Eggs did a, and Canada 8, Eggs did a great job with both of those. Eggs is Honestly. really good. He's most, a, most every intro, intro he makes gets better and better. Let's see. All Stars 3. And the most recent split trailer, I think that is. Uh, the Nuzlocke 6 intro. TT 14. New Dawn 13. Oh, there's the podcast. Uh, <laughs> hey. um, what do you guys think about the Furby 10 intro? The what intro? The, what intro? the Furby 10 intro. Uh, um, I, I have that it. on my hard drive. I, I, I don't think nah. it's exceptional. Real talk though, like that that uh, UHC crossword that got released, and there was like the most popular podcast on the subreddit, and the answer was Harvard, and I was just like, <laughs> wait, 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 give me a moment, and I went on to the episode one of that, and it had like twenty upvotes, and episode one of this had seventy five upvotes. I'm like, piss off, mate. This is this is better. No, I love the I, Harvard I, podcast. I, it's really I, good. I'll be honest, I was a bit shocked when the quarter round didn't fit in that box. I was like, <laughs> hang on a minute, this can't be right. Uh, uh, no, I, I, I put that on Twitter as a joke. I just put, it just said R R podcast, and I was like, something's wrong here. No, F- I, the I knew it would be hard, but... I think Daffs is a very underrated intro maker. He is very yeah, good R-R's. but he doesn't make many yeah. though. He only does Fission, no, and he did one of the Vanguard just, intros. Please, they're just really, really like they're simple, but they really fit like a Minecraft intro kind of thing. I guess yeah. if that makes sense. Hey guys, but, uh, they mentioned that on the hey Harvard podcast. I, I agree quite a lot. Hey guys, which one's gonna be higher, Fission Two or Desire Six? <laughs> um, they were the ones that used the same. Fission song, Two right? was a better yeah. intro. Yeah, um, I would the out of all that second intro. Okay, yeah. I I may be biased because I lo- I love that intro. I, I mean that intro and I dance in it, so I'm a bit biased. <laughs> but I think that I, if that doesn't crack top ten, I don't wait. Know. Which one? Which out of orbit one? seven? It was also another every episode, but it was also just even on its own. It was a really, the really thing, good intro. Because the thing is, you don't. The thing is, it's not like they change much. They just change the order of the players and the team colors. Yeah. Thing is, and and, and when, like whenever someone dies, it'd be grayed out. But I mean, I have you know, a thing with the out of orbit intros. Like, unlike, I really like them. Uh, unlike a- AP, there was no out of orbit like season seven movie, so to say. <laughs> I mean, I, I, yeah. have all the intros, I have all the intros uploaded on my channel, and I can ask Grant if he wants me to upload them, or, like, public them, but I probably won't, because, like, I don't really think anyone cares to see them. I mean, I do for the views, but... <laughs> but even on its own, I just think it was a really, really good intro. It was incredible. I, I, I appreciate how well they're made, but as in, like, from a style point of view, I haven't liked any of them since Season 3. <laughs> season 4 through to 7, also, I, wanna, I just don't like the style. Like, the music isn't that. my thing. I was wondering that, that the season 7 intro, I'll have to ask Grant, but it took a bit more than three months. Because oh, like there was a one... Years. Yeah, yeah, Dom, you can vouch for me on this, but like, he went on vacation at one point, I think, right? Which is, like, unexpected, I believe. And then he couldn't get it done, and then there's, like, the animations, like, they didn't work at one point. There's a lot of stuff was going wrong at the same time, I think, at least. I might be wrong. I think there was something about there was I can't remember exactly the details, but I remember there's something about how it was rendered as well. But yes, there was something yes, 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 that yes, yes. something yes. there's some there was one element of it that had to be rendered different each um, intro and would take fucking ages. Yeah, I remember that. I think that was mentioned. the thing is that like, I mean, again, the end. I I would say it was worth the wait and all that. Oh yeah, I agree. But I it, it, I guess like to some people you could definitely say oh this is it was just annoying to wait, but. Yeah, I was happy that no happy one spammed the chat with like intro like every day because I hate that. In but... Row. but I think people Ooh. know that they're gonna get quality at the end of it because they know it's Grant. He cares a lot about the round, and that's what's gonna happen. Whereas if it's just another round, and then like somebody is doing the intro, and you have to like convince them every day, look, you know, the intro is coming. They have no idea whether it's gonna be any good. How much longer they're gonna have to wait? Whether people are gonna actually you know like it on the subreddit? Whereas. I'm sure the people in Out of Orbit would have known at the time. I was like, okay, well, we might be in for a bit of a wait, and it might be a bit annoying, but we're going to get a pretty fucking good end product, and everyone on the subreddit is going to love it because it's a popular round. But I don't know how well that sort of wait would have gone down with a less popular round, maybe with, you know, not as much of an automatic fan base, I guess you could say. Um, 
So yeah, it's a bit upsetting really that, because, you know, it doesn't really give many other people a chance to get to release something like that, because they're under so much pressure to get intros out quickly, and especially since every single recorder on intro is made by Ember nowadays. He kind of has like 20 to do, so does Sonic. Yeah, that's a bit of a ramble from me there. Anyone yeah. else want to say anything? <laughs> yeah, Sonic, uh, the Gala 6 intro was quite good. The Gala 6 intro was very good. So, I wouldn't be surprised to see that do, hopefully, fairly well. Because Sonic did a really top good job Top 100, I'm saying top 60. Really? No. I think it'll I think be... I'll have a double look at it real quick. I don't... I don't know if it there will it make top 100. I don't think people will really remember it. Maybe yeah, the people who will... If you get a group of people who oh, will go back and watch through every submission... It was definitely the best gala one. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Hey, if I get enough of you to do it, will you guys all put Ambition 16 on your list? Gotta get that thing up there. I'm on... Oh, Jesus. What? It's a good intro, I like it. Can we get, can we get Gala 2 on there? Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. I, I will, I will vote for that, yeah. <laughs> That's a great intro. Okay, we done? Alright. Yeah, next? you wanna move back right. to the, uh, the roundup? And just finish off so what we were saying. Before we end, <laughs> every everyone's prediction for number one on the list. Uh, my uh, number one. Oh, would you want to go down the list? Yeah. Uh, when you start? Right. My prediction for number one is probably going to be the All Stars three intro. Just because you know the it wasn't around when the last one was released. It was really fucking well made and it's high profile. Like everyone knows the All Stars. Okay. Um, Me please. please. Put in a vote for oh, it's BJ's turn. It's BJ's turn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Settle down, Brody. <laughs> Jump in my grave too, wouldn't you? Um. I. That's you takes over my round, and then, um. No, I. Uh, I don't know how the voting for it all works, but my personal vote would always be TBA. Uh, however, I think Remarkable <laughs> Two is probably my favorite. Okay. Brody, now it's your turn. <laughs> I, I still think that each year it'll be something more modern that takes first place. Otherwise, I'd love TBA 2 or Remark 2 or something like that nature. I'm hoping for Cat A. So, Cat A, you can do I'm still hoping for new one. <laughs> yep. I'm hoping. Dom? Dom? Uh, I can... I'm not 100%. I can, I can, I can kind of agree with stuff like I think All Stars three stands a good chance. I even think, considering how people in the suburb view the intro, I, st I still think there's a chance AP10 might still be the top. That's what my personal vote. That's I, what I, think, I would be I so think upset if it gets it again. I would, I would really yeah. cry if it did. I feel like it could, I could, could be, but I think, I think probably All Star three has the. I agree with you there that All Star three probably has the best chance considering all the factors involved. Campbell? Um, uh, probably the best one will be number one. <laughs> wow. Fucking <laughs> hell. <laughs> Out of the box, <laughs> there. Okay, um, <laughs> well, I would, well, Batman, you're an idiot if you think All Stars 3 is going to get number one. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> BJ, I like your guess on Remarkable 2. Brody, did you even guess? Like, what'd you say? Boy. Brody, what did you guess? Cat A. Okay. Kata 8's not even a top 10 intro. I was gonna say that, if, if it's, yeah, no, I, no, I disagree good. with that. It's, it's good, I don't know if it's top good. My, my other choice would be Bit 3. Oh, God. I think Kata 8 would only stand a chance of getting <laughs> Brody, it if it was released the day before the submissions Brody, post and everyone Brody, was listen, still loving Brody, it. Listen. Listen, we said number 1, not, <laughs> not, not top 40. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lego. What the fuck do you think, then? If you uh, if you know well, everything, I would like to think if if people didn't like modern intros so much that R and R seven would still be up uh, around the one two. Which one was seven? Uh, the first anim, well, one of the first animated, the one that Sid made, or where well, they're all the standing movie. in oh, a circle. Yeah, a yeah, and I would like to think of that because that's my the one. <laughs> uh, new Dawn ten is always will always be have a special place in my heart because by Texel, but. I don't know if it's gonna crack top ten. I'm gonna have to say that the number one intro is gonna be out of orbit seven. No. 
Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All Souls 3 has a better Mark chance than Out of Orbit 7. How about, how about Marked for Death 2? That's a good one. <laughs> Fuck off. That's a good yeah. intro. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what I thought. Alright, Zev, your turn. <laughs> okay, uh, I won't say my predictions for record, like, the number one recorded round because I'm bad, but, um, but that is personally, my. Personally, my favorite intro, like for the past year, I'm just gonna say this for the past year, will be New Dawn 12, because it particularly has like a deep meaning with with me because me and Sid were trying to mimic this um, anime opening called Kiss Niver, so that's why we had this um, little we had all this little really fancy effects and that mirror reflection at the back, and that that the point of New Dawn 12 was, it's, it was supposed to be animated animated by me, and Sid will do the effects, but uh, my computer died, like, halfway through, so Sid had just to use the art instead. Hmm. Yeah. If it had but... turned out the way you guys had originally planned it, it would have been by above and beyond the best intro the subreddit's had. Hey, Ben. Wait a minute, wait a minute, it was gonna have animated art? Yeah. Animated artwork. Oh, I've oh, always okay, yeah. I've been say I think I've been say I think I said that in a podcast once. I've always wanted to see an yeah, you animated did. art. You oh, did. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. Zeb's computer. Like her. Like her. Like her. Like her. Like her. Like her. Okay. What Zeb? What? Every everyone. <laughs> you don't fourteen. But no. <sighs> don't tease me. Oh <laughs> man, Zeb. Anyway, um. Anyway, so before we continue, uh, that. bro, do you have an actual guess for number one yet, or what's going on? I'll go to thirteen. <laughs> you don't thirteen. Right, um, see, there we go. I'll, I there will we say, go. That, that's, that's out of the seven right. is actually pretty good. I hadn't. I was thinking of the wrong intro, but yeah, it, it's Which actually one? pretty good. I'll give you out of all the seven. I'll that's give you that. It's actually you. pretty solid. I think it, I think I've ever said this has, has a good chance. I don't know about number one, but I think it's I don't definitely. know about it would be top one. ten, I reckon, but I don't I see it getting number one. My my prediction that all stars is mainly just because of the round being high profile. Like it's around people will remember. They might not I specifically think. That's out of Orbit uh, Season 7, even if it is like a really well made intro. I still don't think the intro was like it was good, it just wasn't exceptionally well. What wasn't? All Stars 3. It yeah, it had it animations was, though. Was, had also, I think the deciding factor is probably going to be it had Overwatch music and three quarters of the Reddit community orgasm over Overwatch, so I feel like that'll be a, you know, a deciding factor. <laughs> three quarters. Yes, I'd say three about three quarters. But when it was so hot. <laughs> Shut up. Welcome right, to the Overwatch. Right, do we want to move on with the uh, our yes. roundup? Yeah, wait, where yeah. the hell are we? Are, have right. we even done Phobia yet? No, yeah, no. Done We're on UHC World Cup. <laughs> That's the third one. Can Isn't I just it? say okay. that? All right, I, can I just say that I did not, I did not expect Final Smite. I did not. But oh I yeah, like, stole no, your country. Yeah, where were you, Zev? <laughs> I don't know I because I was like the way, way you would see that often as I used to, but I'm okay with Bane of Smite because he's not that bad. <laughs> he's better <laughs> than most, most of the other people from your country. I mean, have you played? Yeah, Ben, ben you played on the AES server. Oh right? yeah, like two donkeys. I most and... definitely have, and uh, Bane of Smite <laughs> is definitely the bar is very low. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Let's continue. Yeah, no. The uh, the Asian community has some holes. <laughs> this is a little bit bad. Two donkeys. It's a great server. <laughs> God bless. I anyway. liked so much of that server back in the day. Like, I have no oh. idea because the, I, the I original Asian community was fantastic, Campbell. Yeah. Back when we had Crystal and Daniels and stuff, that was that was that was a good. Time and then uh, they left and were that basically their IQ me. was split between twelve people. Yeah, and it uh, it went it could not go up from there. Um, but yeah, World Cup. Tell us more. Before we before we get into World Cup, I'm a bit I'm a bit salty about about the roster for World Cup for one reason. I I noticed that there was an Israel player. Who's Frozen Benny? Tell me who he is. Can anyone tell me who's Frozen Israel. Benny? Is? Yeah. Yes, thank you. But can anyone tell me who he is? Okay, who would you have had for Israel then? Me. Not, not a day goes by where where someone goes, "Hey, Jew." No, not not one day. <laughs> but you don't live fact, in Israel. I, I was born hey, in Israel. Yeah. Don't live. Why? You? you don't. Yes. Oh, that's decent. 
They probably didn't know, to be fair. What? Okay, yeah. But, Does but Green RLH know that you're from Israel? No, oh, probably oh, not. He knows this, he knows now, and he knows how bad of a choice we made. <laughs> also, not, not that I'm upset with the USA choice, but when you saw, but when I saw Mop <laughs> the USA choice, I was like, what on earth? I'm not gonna lie. Was okay. this the so round I where I they said the issue it was I had. a non-competitive roster? The issue I had is, yeah, the, mm. it was, it was like so many non-competitive people. No offense, and then you had people like Daffs and Clegg. Oh yeah, it was, was always like, gonna be like Daffs yeah. or Clegg. So, so, if you didn't know, I was there. Um, I was. I explained this in my first episode. I wasn't the original Scottish player. Was. I was a sub. The original Scottish player was David Sidney. Okay. I was gonna ask about that because when I got sent the roster originally before somebody, I'm not gonna reveal my inside source. But um, when they originally told me the roster, and I was like, I was like David said, I was like, well, you could have had Dom, or you could have had Crimson. It's just a strange choice. You know, I'd not that I have anything against David Sid. I just think you know, if you're gonna have a World Cup, you're probably gonna choose the most known representatives of each country. But like like you said with MOP, I think the USA and stuff like that's quite a tough one because a lot of countries it's quite yeah, easy so to choose people. someone. Who the fuck do you choose for America? Like there's yeah. there's so many of them well, and there's so many Mop. people who could represent uh, and MOP was as the obvious candidate, yeah. And there's other countries yes. like that, like I don't know, England. You could have had so many people from. I think England. Australia was also in the same boat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think Phase Phase and Ripper were good choices. I think. Ripper, oh yeah, I agree with those. Cracking yeah. open a beer in the first four minutes of his episode. Which is one of my <laughs> he was just like, "I'm here to represent oh, Australia." Yeah, I, I just like to pose the hypothetical of what happened if Daffs had found like a bunch of other people before he fought Clegg, like. It would have just been those two with like eight kills each. <laughs> just be and that would be the kill point. Thank, yeah, Daffs. Oh like, fuck, Daffs hurt me bad in that season. I, we and Daffs had a very short fight. Um, it was very short. Uh, I did not hit him once. He saved me of seven gaps. Oh, Jesus. It was a bad <laughs> fight on my behalf. I'm not gonna lie. Like, who won that? Um, Ratso with one yeah. kill. Who? Ratso, representing Ratso. Chili. There was a double kill with a uh, Clegg, <laughs> and he found the stuff, and there was like full diamonds. And Ratso stuff. found the loot, and then it was just like, it was him and Ripper, and that was it. And that's how it uh, ended. It was great. Um, Naturally, <laughs> Ripper pulled second place for Australia. <laughs> But um, but then there were obviously some countries where the representatives were um lacking. For example, Malta. I don't think there'd have been many other choices. Yeah. Like I remember Isaac uh saying about this. Like I'm in a round. And, um, I'm literally irreplaceable. Cause it's an <laughs> island about the size of the town I live in. Like it literally, it's got like ten thousand people. Um, yeah. And he's the only one. And then you got Chipsy for Cyprus. Again, not very uh, many people not live the there. Country, no. uh, what other ones? Uruguay. I don't think there's many choices from Uruguay. Yeah, for... I genuinely don't know where that is. For South America. The population of Malta is uh, just under 437,000 people. Okay, I thought it was about 10,000. Which my is bad. fewer people. Which is less people than live that live in uh, than live in Lu Luxembourg. I thought you were about to say there's just under four people. <laughs> yeah, just under four people. Isaac uh, and his mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs> they live on the really island. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty small. <laughs> so, I, I was slightly upset there was no representative from, like, Vatican City, or, like, yeah. something like that. Who lives in the Vatican City? I don't think anyone lives in Vatican City. Get good what? old Pope Benedict. There was a... There was a <laughs> There was a few countries I could think of representatives for, but they didn't have players. Like, New Zealand didn't have a player in World New Cup. New Zealand would have been a good one. I think New Zealand we definitely could have represented Algeria. Yeah, but... Yeah? If, but, yeah, but, but no, but non competitive roster, dude, come on. Yeah, but he was there for, like, a lot. He's, he's here there now. They could play it again now. Vatican yeah. City has a population of 1,000 people. <laughs> I doubt any of them play you. <laughs> At least, like, how many people play Minecraft? <laughs> I don't think that, that's that that's everyone in the church is going to Oh no, that's a bad joke. But yeah, and then you had 
Sweden, I was thinking. I was like, well, actually, there's probably not many people you could have chosen from Sweden. Was there, was there a, um, like, a Polish or a Dutch one in there as well? Yeah, Frost was... <laughs> Uh, there's a Dutch. lot of Dutch people you could pick from. I don't think. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, Dutch is one of the silly. most like. Pop France is actually a lot less than I expected. I was thinking, surely you could have had so many people for France. Because I was thinking, no, Z well, Zach Eagles, not Zach Eagle, definitely not Zach Eagle, Sky Eagle, <laughs> slightly different people. <laughs> I was thinking, well, I mean, that's a bit of a left field choice, you know, considering the French community is pretty big. I couldn't think of many. Honestly. And they're really good at PvP, so the French representative probably would have won if he'd chosen someone like Stelios or I don't know. Something Maybe like Gwep. that. Maybe. Gwep is also yeah, very but if good. It's a non -competitive roster, you yeah. Want. If Gwep would be a bit it's, just, it's just the yeah, same as no one who lives in Slovenia yeah. apart from Clegg. Like I wanna <laughs> I wanna point something out and from what I heard, uh, I don't know if either of you uh, you said you heard more about the roster yeah. and Dom you actually played yeah. um I heard so like apparently like, was the organization like very good like was it tight or like what like it was pretty good I'm not now, the it's not it's nothing, that, it's nothing crazy I say that is because right. someone had a theory that that you could have that like green RLH if he wasn't gonna check you could be like oh yeah I'm from here and he probably would have believed you I was curious <laughs> about that like that's a thing that would have happened. I okay. I wasn't. I was not oh, there man, for like the verification. Totally I wasn't there for verification of oh, everyone yeah, no, because well, I was a sub. I, I was. I was roped in as a sub half an hour before it started. That was when okay, I was made I was aware. I'm so. just curious because I'm curious to know because like had I known, I probably would have just been like, yeah, I'm from Israel. Let's go. <laughs> do you know? God, do you know how, how ridiculous that'd be if you saw me from Israel? People would go nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna All say right, that. Next? I enjoyed Frost's perspective of Walker. Yeah, so did I. I was I, it's the only one I watched from that, and then parts of Ripple. I really hope Green doesn't watch this, but what would you do if somebody made up a country and represented a fake country? <laughs> <laughs> could you imagine? Could you imagine? Like, okay, could you imagine like 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 Lightning Spark Seven just goes like, oh yeah, I'm from like I'm from like he makes up a country that he made <laughs> flag and sends it in. <laughs> oh my god! That would be him. nuts. <laughs> Because, like, oh my god. If, according to, um, like, Max, yeah. when we met up, he thought Joey lived, like, on an island, like, a separate country to England. <laughs> like, yeah. like, he thought. Well, he Ke doesn't make it sound like he does. He thought Kent was, like, a separate island in its own, like, right, a country. And he was it like, might be, it doesn't Joey. It might be because Max doesn't live in the UK and Katie always refers to it as the island of Kent. Well, yeah, yeah, that's the thing. When he met up, he was like, doesn't Joe live on the Isle of Kent? And I was like, the what? <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> is it, wait, isn't Kent, like, a county? Yes, it is. Why is it county? It's just, then he was like, the Isle of Kent. I was like, oh man. Because I think I was saying, it's like, oh, I don't know why he didn't like make an effort to come down if Max and Katie were both going to be there. And I was just like, well, he doesn't live on an island. <laughs> the fuck you on about? <laughs> By the way, um, shout out to Evader. Thank you. I don't know what I'm um, shouting him out for, but I also love Evader, so yeah, shout out. May I have Next round. New member of the okay, but let's not talk about that now. Next Again, race. anytime you want replacing Lego, that is fine by me. Oh, we, I'm never leaving. We also we have Quill, <laughs> Zentian, we have lots of people lined up. Yeah, Bobby if he wants, sure. Yeah. And literally yeah, anyone. Bobby, the last thing I'm gonna say about World Cup is that uh everyone should have just gone onto nationstates.net and found a made up country there. <laughs> Yeah. Terrible. Yeah. Fun fact for everyone watching: Lego's only here because we had the same idea, or allegedly. Uh, first. It's like I, I I put up my rant something about it's like oh I've had a good idea for a series I've been wanting to do it for a long time and like it's finally actually coming off, and then uh, Lego's like yo I was having the same idea. It's like can well, we run it together? Oh Lego what Lego <laughs> rant seven. No, there, no, so there was a Lego Rant 68. I stopped using that. The Super Mad Aaron was a big hit. Um, <laughs> and then and then I tried to log in one day, and it said that someone had tried to log in like, my account 25,000 times. So I couldn't use so yeah. I knew the password couldn't log in. I'm like, I'm not going to bother making a new one. 
uh, I'll play the next rank, season you'll see, of. Uh, you'll see. I want to okay. make an RR podcast. You look for it hard enough. Well, I don't believe uh, you. The almighty Naknatian colony of Feckface. <laughs> next. <laughs> Please try it. <laughs> <laughs> Or oh, the Mad Empire of Nikina Koreyazu. <laughs> God's sake. Oh, the Foxy Truck and Theocracy of Funktopia. Okay, I don't think you'd get away with that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're we going to next record around? Yeah. Phobia. Oh, yeah, Phobia Turn. Someone starts off. Kazmeg. Okay, um, that one. I, 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 I played that round. My team was revealed on the podcast. Hope you're. Hope you're proud of me. I fucking suck. <laughs> okay. Uh, just a, all right. Just a fun fact. Okay. Just a fun fact. Um, I was supposed to make art for Phobia. That's but, uh, right. I, I kind of screwed. I kind of screwed up. So. All right. All right. Yeah, I was very Truth upset told, I, like, to I, hear that we weren't halfway getting through, it. Halfway end. through. Halfway through drawing, I kind of like fell into like this um feeling that. Holy shit, this art is kind of going really badly. I know you guys don't agree, but this is feeling for most, like, for people like Karim, Cute Shark, who else? I can't remember. Sandra, like, a, disconnected like all of us. Channel. Lego had to go. Thank fuck. For the few, like, I've been talking to Emily for a bit, and we both have this kind of, like, this common theme, like, Somehow, halfway through drawing for a recorded round, we kind of like, if it's not going really, really well, we kind of like, get demotivated and that stuff. Because when you want to draw art for a recorded round, it has to be top notch, otherwise it'll look kind of, eh. You know what I mean? Um, mm, I get that. Well, I feel, I get the same thing going through organisation. If I um, think of a game mode and I go, okay, I want to do this, and then I go, wait, fuck, that's not going to work, then all of my motivation for running it just disappears and that's what Brody's here for now to make sure that it actually happens. Yay. Are you sure I'm not just like a cheerleader? Go Ben, well, go. That's <laughs> what I really need in my life, dude. Uh, um but yeah, Phobia Ten, they did a um callback and rehashed season three of Phobia, is it which is Pyrophobia yeah. and they did Pyrophobia two. Um what are people's opinions on that? Well, we kind of talked about it, sort of, we kind of hinted, um, because when we recorded the Phobia podcast, Crimson the really wanted to, like... The come out? No, the intro hadn't come out, the trailer was out, but, like, uh, Crim Crimson want yeah, Crimson really wanted to, like, integrate doing the Phobia podcast with, like, a sort of hype thing for it, so, yeah, we released the teams, like, on the podcast, and he, he made quite a lot of the topics, like relate to it so i think we discussed sort of doing throwback seasons on the last episode and sort of like well you know how oh, good how it. good is the thing it's really typical crimson it was a good idea but it just meant it took forever because he kept moving the date of the podcast dependent on when phobia was getting released like if phobia got pushed back he'd just be like sorry i can't do this weekend that was why we had a massive gap between the application winners episode and the phobia episode because um, it kept one, getting pushed back. Not very good at with phobia is uh, he's not very good at setting a date and sticking to it. He always sets a date and then I don't he know. changes How it four or five times. How long you been phobia before you played? Uh, okay. Let me just quickly check the subreddit wiki for phobia. I, I know so Thin White Male got added emotional. the day after season nine got recorded, so he said he was in there for like eight months before he got publicly released. Yeah, it? it was a lot of months. And during that whole time, he had to deal with people saying, you should be in Phobia, because, like, I, I thought he was. Um, like, when Balone and Kirby got released in Season 9, for some reason I thought he yeah. was in there, and it turns out he wasn't. I, I think I said that on the podcast, there. and then he commented as, like, dude, what are you on about? I, I didn't play Phobia. From memory, I was asked to sub for a rack Phobia, and then again for xenophobia which was season nine um and i was actually needed for season nine but i was asleep because i'm terrible nice. um so then andrews went you know what you can sub for this one if we need you and then otherwise you're just being added for the season after and i was like okay yeah that's nice. fine and then andrews all fucked off and crimson went okay we're actually going to add you for season 10 <laughs> um and yeah that's where it was so i think i got added 
uh, January of this year, give or take. I can probably check for sure. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah. That'll take a little while, though. I've talked to Kimmy a lot. Oh, yeah, I know a bit about uh, being in rounds for a long time before being public. I was in oh, AP oh, yeah, me and since did. March of 2016, and the season came out in October. So that was uh, seven months. Oh, yeah. Here, ben, I'm, okay. ben, I'm pretty sure you got into Pathfinder when I had my first referral for it, like, for season three. And then you got yeah, in for, I, like, yeah, season... Yeah, three, and then I think I played six or something. Yeah, um, Yeah, okay, so Crimson messaged me on the 12th of August 2016 and said, Hi, do you still want to be in Phobia? And I responded with, Does the Pope wear a funny hat? Nice. <laughs> 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 um, and, yeah, he didn't understand what I was saying, but that's when I got added, and I had been asked by Andrizel for the season prior to that, so yeah, I was meant to be a sub for Arachnophobia. Uh, and then I just wasn't able to play season 9, that's right. Statisticophobia. <laughs> the statistics are called that. That's amazing. <laughs> anyway, yes. Um, um, yeah, I thought it was a really cool idea to do the throwback. I, I like the uh, I know WMC did it as well where they rehashed the t like they br they tried their best to bring back the old teams. Oh, uh, when Miners Con again. Like they did. The they did a lot better job of them at Phobia at that. Like the teams were a lot different for Phobia than they were my for team WMC. Was, my team was fairly good. I was the only person my on my team that wasn't on the original. Like it was supposed to be. Yeah, cat, yeah, pretty much. I was yeah, it was just, I was just replacing for boys. So that was entirely the. Well, yeah, yours was like the only one that was justifiable as like a rehash of like of the teams I think I was slightly disappointed by that like the lack of um yeah they did their best they really did oh yeah I, I'm, I'm sure they did like try their best to get as many people back as possible but it didn't and really come off in like that way Raven back and such which was yeah. a shock but yeah obviously but yeah, that's always a good obvious thing obvious standout players like Fairy Dibs um, I think Neo yeah. was a big standout player at the time. Geist was a pretty big standout player at the time, I mean, and the none of them could Zero make it. The only one on the winning team that ended up being like the Kano, like. Well, I think Bag mm. was meant to but be there, wasn't I, he? Yeah, no Bag, no Marky, no Dibs. Yeah, Bag said he was gonna play, and then just never responded after that. Uh. And then MPMG was the same. He just he said, "Yeah, yeah, I'll I'll be there for it. No worries." And then Crimson messaged him like twenty times after that and got nothing back. Oh. But yeah, it was it was an interesting idea. I think it wasn't the most well executed thing they've ever done. Okay. What do else? We... What what else are we discussing? All right. Do you want to move on to the next round? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. What's the next round? Uh, we'll Compass do Compass Rose. Rose. Right? Okay. Uh, so. <laughs> I think it's an interesting round. Like, the roster is a weird mix between unoriginal, original, old players, new players, Born, and, um, no, but Born seems like an amazing person. I'm worried he's gonna turn into, like, you know, someone who just shows up in every RR and loses his charm. Though. So. Oh, I sure hope not. Because like, I think, because like really cool he's in R&R, &R, um, Compass Rose, yeah. and I assume he'll I show he up as a sub like for TT some at some others. point. Yeah, I hope he's not like some others, where they, uh, everyone goes, oh yeah, this person's going to be unique and different, and then he ends up in every round. And then by the time he actually gets released as a member of your yeah, round, he's he completely he unoriginal. In like eight different rounds in the meantime. Like he, um, he came and played Mafia with us on Saint TS one night. Yeah, he did. He did in one night. He yeah, was, that a, was good fun. He was a really nice dude to talk to. I haven't heard from him since though. So. Yeah. Got a solid Aussie accent though. So. P and now we've had a yeah. conversation yeah, about was, Born. I was, I was, I was, I was like, you're enjoying your shadow right there, boys. He's Australian. <laughs> he's Australian. That gives you a free license to add him. It's a new door. Yeah, no, I no one can do. complain. I that, that, but Gala steals everyone anyway. Um, <laughs> what's Born's Twitter? I know, I I remember him. At it was like after Born he'd already gone to sleep. Chuck him a follow. It was after he'd already got like gotten off to go to sleep that you realise, wait a second, he's going to sleep. Is he Australian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hold on a minute. 
<coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Compass Rose. Also... Yeah, Compass Rose, not Born. Not the Born reporter, man. Another really important thing I miss, it's, uh, it's Peridot's birthday. So, uh, happy birthday, I Peridot. It when we release this. It's not even more Yeah, it actually will be. I'll probably just release this tonight since we're recording it in the middle of the day rather than at like 10 p.m. Oh, dude, well done. Well, it'll be tomorrow <laughs> for you, but it'll be today yeah. for me. It's always tomorrow for me, dude. It's already Louis' um, birthday. Compass though. Rose, episode one. Uh, okay. Rose, I, the I'm game sure mode was I a bit weird. Having... Well, yeah, I, I would like to there. mention. I'd like to mention a few things about the game mode. As so, a one time, okay, sorry. <laughs> you said that and then just stopped, so I thought, okay. <laughs> so my major gripe with the game mode was they tried to incorporate a previous game mode with the theme, which completely fucking ruined the game mode for me, in that they had mystery teams, but it was mystery teams of two, so it was only like one chance you could find your teammate. But they integrated it with the theme by having you giving you a compass which pointed towards your teammate. Yeah, I didn't like that. Which meant that by the end that's... of episode one, uh, by the end of episode one, everyone found their teammate. But that's not mystery teams. That's not the same. No, thing. it's really not. Because if you did, yeah, everyone found their works. teammate by the end of episode one. If you gave the compasses in episode two, then it would have been justifiable. But I think it's still unlikely that all that many people yeah, are going to run into other people so before they their teammate. To make a compass be like. And that's the thing. For, for it's like, that isn't aware that, that the idea of the round is that every season has custom terrain, mumble, yeah, terrain tanks. Yeah, I know. They just they use, there are so many game modes that just get used compass. on repeat, and then the compass just and gets used for something different it, and weird every time. The compass was useless this season, basically, yeah. and it was just like a random team of two. And like, how many compass based game modes can you come up with? Also, they're gonna we'll ruin, next season, they're gonna actually, ruin they the mumble thing. It's like, Mumble's great, like, use it in one-time RRs yeah, so or for dr spin out seasons, but yeah, you can't overuse it, because it really does lose its charm. And there's so many game modes which are becoming as just a staple of that recorder round. It's like, okay, so we're going to do something with compasses, but we know in reality that there's only so much you could do with compasses to be interesting. So we're just going to overuse the shit out of Mumble to get views. That's kind of how it feels, because everyone wants to watch Mumble RRs. Whether people know it's being overused used or not, people will still watch it because they are good to watch, so they're just thinking, okay, well, we'll throw Mumble and a few other classic one-time game modes in there to keep people interested, but then yeah, we'll justify it by having a concept which, well, as season one proved, the, the thing that was unique about this season was completely well hopeless, so I was not very impressed um, with that. Also, the name Brody, is... what is your opinion on this topic? I like the I heard you idea. Talk like eight times. I wish it was mumble. I think they're just gonna have to work really, really hard to actually uh, impress me and probably a lot of other people that share a similar opinion, especially based on how weak the season one game mode was. It, it didn't really like the concept was like a bit of a, a cool idea, like a bit of a bang. I agree with the mumble being overused thing though, and then yeah, just. The compass thing was really, really weak and not good, and unless they have a really good idea for season two, I think it's just gonna bomb. It just seems like a yeah. really weird thing to have a concept based around, though. Yeah. Like, I and the name like of it, it's like, idea. where did where did that come from? Like, who? <laughs> like that. That's my wondering. It's like. Did this like okay? Well, let's start a recorder round. I'm gonna head on to single player, go into the creative mode inventory, and look for an item and let's think. Keep okay, an item and we'll <laughs> yeah, like and like I think Talon. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Clock Season One. Like, yeah, ta Talon. I think is an interesting person to like start a recorder round. But you can tell, especially roster based, there was a lot of Tommy influence in terms of like I think yes. a lot a lot yes, of yes, how the round can. ended up. Uh, as a result of, like, um, Tommy I getting the roster overall, together. It wasn't terrible. It just wasn't executed anywhere near as well as it could have been. No, I agree. Like, yeah, I agree. if they think of cool game modes for the compass... Well, whether they think of cool game modes for the compass or not, I still don't like how overused they're making Mumble. But as in, like, I think the round will continue to will to do well if they come up with good game modes. Because it does have potential. Like, they've got a good roster... Bit unoriginal mm. in places. It's it felt like a one-time horror. 
like the use yeah, of Mumble, it, some of the players they had, the fact that it's an original combination of players. Yes, and I realised it's it, not necessarily like, it was, an original. Like, when I, I realised it's an RR, when I saw it at first while on the holidays, I thought it was a one-time. But is it a first. really original combination of players in reality? Like you can say that, oh, but is it? Let me let me get the list up. Okay. How often do we see... Like, I kind of agree, it's fairly original. A combination, yeah. The combination of... <sighs> I'm trying to think of an, an, an example. Like... Sonmika and the Peridot Knight. <laughs> Sonmika. Not even, not Peridot. Um, Born, Wilson, Sonmika, Sakana, Sneeg, Rage of Float, Ripper and Zaki and Scrib, all in one round together. Okay, yeah, I... I is I'll... not something I think I've ever seen. No, it is, it is good, but I just think a, lo a lot of players in there are, like, sort of very one-timey. They're, they're not players you have not... Like, they're not players you've never seen before. They're just not... They're just players that you haven't seen in that combination. Yeah. yeah. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I agree that No, I think you've got to have an element of that. I mean, it, obviously it's not a, a one-time, but they're all the kind of people that you see a lot in one-time rounds. In a lot in one-time rounds. Yes, but that's also because Tommy Akana. organizes a lot of one-time rounds. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, next topic. Um, uh, wait, what's next? Cat and Nine. Cat and Nine. Okay. I'll start. X is intro is great. Yeah, it was. Um, right, I played that, and uh, it was Captains, which I don't know. If, I, think, I don't know if I've actually uploaded it. Um, barring I think Smooth, because he was like a last-minute captain. Uh, the captains were based on worst KDRs in the round. So that's right. you had people like um, Sam, Pasco, <laughs> Dylan. Etc. And I think the captains and um, Smooth's team ended up being the most unbalanced team as a result, I guess. Yeah, it would Although be. I still think it was fairly balanced overall. Yeah, but you say that, but like, you'd expect it to be like, okay, well, you're going to have the uh, people with the worst KDR in the round, so it's going to be the worst players yeah. in the round, but, but you've not. still got Simply Sam with a 0 to 6 KDR now. Like, Jesus Christ, how does that happen? Oh, Brody, you didn't win this one. Well, that's the, that's what I was about to. I think the one of the issues is that, that this was, I guess, and it's we've we've all everyone in the rounds. Just, it's like the commentary season for Kata, because I mean the PvP wasn't bad. It's just it was pretty much all at the end, like right before meetup, which was episode five. I think that was a nice change, though. Yeah, but it's because people realized people with the F five meetup, and because it was a team of four, no one was going to go back down caving after they fought. And so my team was the only team that went up early out of pretty much every team. And so we were completely undergeared and got destroyed. Yeah. And then... So we were the ones... Because we wanted to go try and have some entertaining early PvP, and uh, no one else did. It's unfortunate. But <laughs> otherwise, I think it was a pretty good season. Yeah. I mean, I like I like some of the newcomers as well. Again, like, people like Meowsers were a nice change. Meowsers, I believe, won the uh, the contest that Sam had on Twitter, where he uh, oh. guessed the amount of people that were banned on Harvard. How did he do that? Oh, really? I have no idea. Also, it's not even like he's an out of the box one. Like he's he does talk to them. He is part of their friend group. Yeah. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna check the Harvard yeah, staff chat. <laughs> in well, the thing is, you can't check it because. You would get a cra You would get crashed when you tried to. Oh yeah, but he he is staff I on Harvard. I I think yeah I think I tried to do it as well. That's how we got into the friend group actually. But yeah, this was it was recorded I believe March, I want to say, and that was when he only you know, kind of just got into the friend group, which was why well, he was uh unfortunately last choice for captains, but. Which is understandable. Yeah. Like, yeah. if he's not actually part of the group, he's yeah. He's new to the friend group, not many people know him. He it's fits like, in a lot better now. Yeah, yeah. He, well, he's always on there. Right, yeah, he, yeah so, I, I think a lot of him. He's a nice he's... guy. I like me. Shout out to Meowsers if you're watching, which he probably isn't. <laughs> Who the hell watches this shit, as I've already said? <laughs> yeah, also, the season 8 guest that they brought back 
Oh my god, I had to get most of this. I don't know. I know they added some people straight up. Like, I believe Syndic was one of the people that got added straight in. Yeah, I think they had a list of people who are going to get added without a vote, because they just would get in, um, and there's no point giving the them a vote. I got voted in. I know that. So. Like. It was a good mix. People that, yeah. They yeah. definitely picked the right guess to add in. No offence to any that didn't, but. But I suppose it was Not just a thing of trying to get the numbers, so, like, it didn't really matter. I think it was matter. also just that a lot of the guests were part of the main friend group at that point that would fit really well. So, yeah, it worked like. Were um, all of the people labelled as guests newcomers, or did they put any newcomers in the members uh, part of the intro? Uh, let me get the poster. Oh wait, for season eight. For season eight, because obviously they had like the first bit um, of the intro where they had all the existing members and then all the I guests, the but were all the newcomers was... counted as guests? I don't think there were any. I asked Sam the other day about this. Actually, I don't think there were any newcomers. I suppose I why would you need to add any newcomers if you're going to have that many people yeah. subbing in as guests? Like, if um, they if they fit that much, then you can just add them in afterwards, which appears to have been what happened anyway. So I think the only one issue was like Vinny at the time, because Vinny got added again, like back in, and coolest were both counted as members, even though I think they were invited to guests because they had been in the round before. Right, yeah, that makes Season sense. Eight. Yeah, it wouldn't make sense to have them as guests if they were, yeah. you know, actual former members. Right, do we want to move on? I think so. WMC 22. Okay. I think. So WMC yeah. had their first ever redo after 22 seasons. Oh, this is a good topic. That's quite interesting, actually. I feel bad for them. They're like... They must have actually, you know, contemplated thinking, well, do we just release it just, you know, to keep up a record? Because it's a four-year standing record, for God's sake. Like, mm -hmm. you've you got to have some sympathy for them, um, for that. Uh, no, but it was it was quite interesting that they, you know, did put the description of their failed game mode on the episode zero post so everyone could see what the round was supposed to be. And I think I'm not alone in saying what was supposed to be was a much, much better game mode than what they ended up releasing. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Like... Mac is split into nine chunks after 40 minutes you get a quest to move to a specific chunk. You have 18 minutes to get there before having a two minute timer. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. But you have 18 minutes to get there and if you don't get there you take five parts of damage over the next two minutes. Jeez. Uh, but the game mode just didn't work. No. So they went with a simple FFA on chunk by home terrain. But you know, there's nothing wrong with going a bit simplistic, especially for a, you know, yeah. around like WMC. But I just think it's a shame. I don't know if that was me whether I'd have wanted to release what was gonna happen because it sort of you know it gives you something to compare to. Now, whereas if WMC was... released with an FFA vanilla, I don't think I'd be too disappointed. I'd be like, okay, well you know. Just well, it, it's a bit of a change to get away with it. just to, you know, go back to the classics for a little bit. But knowing what would have been and how much better what they could have released would have been, you just think, well, this is a bit dull I guess in comparison. Want to another time, though, so. yeah. And you wouldn't be able to, like, hide the whole it's like, take migration a... from yeah. the first few episodes. It's like, take a mm. private game or something. Like, say you say in a private game is advertised as a random team of three and you join and they're like, sorry, we don't have enough players, so we're changing it to an FFA. Everyone's pretty disappointed. But if the private game's just announced as an FFA to start with, you don't mind as much. Like, that's a situation which I've seen happen a lot, like, in private games, and it does actually make sense. With this one as well, because Ferry not only announced what was supposed to be and didn't happen but he made it like right in the um the li the stuff about the game modes yeah I was and a bit in everyone's description it. as well and it really confused me yeah but uh, uh, yeah i think all of the, the way like that, i think the way they really handled weird. it was really well done I just yeah think i have no have issue done. with them doing it i just wish they hadn't made it Look like it was actually gonna happen. They could have maybe just linked know. to it uh, somewhere like this is what the game mode would have been, and then like a link to a paste bin or something. Yeah. Just to show off what they tried to do. 
but not what it is, and it makes it more obvious and easy to tell. I think it was just a clarity issue. Yeah, I think I think I don't think a lot of people notice. Because when I read that, I I didn't at first. I I just you know looked at the the sort of main chunk of text and read, hey, that seems pretty cool. And then I sort of read, and this is what we actually did. And I'm like, what? And I had to read back up and uh, look at it. I was like, oh, okay, that's a shame. Yeah. Because I was looking forward. Like the bit at the start of the it. post where it's like, it was supposed to be this and it links to what it was. And it's like, oh, that's great. And then it says, but it is, we played this. It's like, okay, that's good. And then, yeah, they, they, they came with, they re described migration down below. And... Yeah, I, I just think, I think actually putting on the post what they had done in the past was completely unnecessary. Yeah. It'd be like if a round had so many redos and you just put the reason for every single redo yeah. on the post. It's like, could you imagine Addiction Season 6? They just had five, they had six attempts, <laughs> and they just put the reason why every single attempt failed. New Dawn 3, man. New Dawn 3. <laughs> Wait, what happened with New Dawn 3? Oh, it, 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 we fucked it up so many times. That we re ended up redoing it, I think, eight times. <laughs> eight? <laughs> we had issues with mumble breaking, we had issues with mystery teams breaking. Um, and then we went to secret teams, and the secret teams didn't get set properly, so I called up Delano the next time we did it and said, Hey, Dill. Can you make sure the teams actually are there? Um, and then we had one other issue as well, and then the server <coughs> crapped out, and there was it just kept going and going and going and getting worse and worse, and I nearly gave up. And that's why uh, Season 3 was so small, when we had like a 25-player roster or something, and we had 15 turn up, because uh, everyone was just like, yeah, I'm not staying up for that, sorry. Yeah, like, you lose motivation. I don't know how you do yeah, eight attempts yeah. at the same thing. It's like, Addiction's game mode, they did the no, same we went thing. From mystery teams to secret teams, and it turned out honestly, I think better mm. as a better game mode. Yeah, but yeah, it was just unfortunate. Because I hosted the attempt of Addiction season six, which actually ends up getting released, and like the game mode that they did for attempts five and six were different to the ones they did for attempts one to four. Because like <sighs> season, the fifth attempt was hosted on Kingsy server, but it was my job to set it up because like I was the dev on uh, his server. Mm at the time and like I, I just remember them saying so well you know this is this is something we haven't done before because uh, I'd ask well haven't you done this four times already surely you have a rough idea what what you're talking about and what I need to do and it was just a little bit of a disaster but yeah I don't know I don't think you could get away with nowadays people's patience with doing the same thing if you had to do I'd say if something takes more if something takes has two failed attempts you've got to change it I don't yeah. think you can do the same thing three times. People's motivation will just go down the drain mm. for that. And yeah, it, it definitely did. Or accept defeat, release what you have, and then move on. But I don't think nowadays that's not a good thing to do, because like, the pressure on rounds to release good seasons is so high. If you look mm. like you're just releasing a season for the sake of it and to get onto the next one, then that doesn't look yeah. great. But sometimes it's necessary. I'd know. <laughs> you wait for um, season four of The Great Frontier. Like, we, we had two attempts and it wasn't great and everyone's motivation went down the drain. So, yeah, I can't really talk. Do you want to move on? Good, let's do that. Yes, okay, dead rounds. Yeah, so a lot of rounds have died recently. We've had the very recent death of the split. We had Satamina a few weeks ago. Amelia died. Amelia died on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, Hil Hilton Quiver. Hilton Quiver as well. Also gone. So is this setting a trend? Like, rounds are dying out. Like, is oh, should we expect to see more of that happening? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, one example, New Dawn's dying because Brody's the new. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, it's it's gone to the point where it's dying nine. so badly that I've made Brody start Spell taking and I charge. In the same oh, no. Spell and I both debuted in the same season. Yeah. Um, recurring rounds in general take a lot of motivation to organize. And for a lot of people, especially in rounds that have been around for a while, um, the motivation to continue playing the same game, especially at the level that I played when I first started, for example, 
which was two or three a day, um, the motivation to keep doing that just declines as you've been playing it for so long. And when you don't play the game that much, it's hard to motivate yourself to actually organize things. And I feel like that's going to be the case for a lot of organizers of rounds that have been around for two, three years. That and was it definitely wouldn't surprise uh, me to see more disappear. The main reason Amelia died was because Kid didn't have the motivation to organize. Mm. I was organizing. I I lost motivation as well for it at that point because after the scrap take where I just kind of we hadn't done anything for a while. Like I think you need to keep a constant rhythm mm. to keep your motivation going. Yeah, a hundred percent. If you don't, because we kind of that waited like a month and a bit after the scrap attempt before we really tried to start anything else and by that point we were just kind of like well we've just kind of left it for a month I don't really feel like picking it up again yeah and the other issue was also like the player motivation can do that as well sometimes uh ameliorate and I think this was another reason it died was I will be back in a sec sorry yeah, by the time it like at, at the point in time right before, because we were going to actually play a season five today, this morning actually, mm. and it died the night before because at the point in time, the night before we were about to play, uh, the roster was just under 50% newcomers. Oh, wow. Just it was because a, lot of a lot of the older players had obviously become inactive. Um or left or been keeper, whatever reasons, lost interest and all that kind of stuff. And uh, obviously, we obviously like to keep subs. We had a lot of subs from the scrap the tent subs. Um, mm. There were a lot of newcomers from season four that didn't play. And so we ended up with just having a lot of them in the round. And yeah, that, that I think that was a part. Like, I like, it was a good roster in my opinion. It's a solid roster. It just wasn't really the same. It wasn't round. the ameliorate roster. I get that, and so I think it was a good reason for it to die as a result. Yeah, and some rounds get to a point where there's no point keep keeping prodding them and trying to get them to come back to yeah. life and keep keep existing. Sometimes things just run their course and die, um, and I saw that happen with MBU, like well over a year ago now, actually, um, and we were super keen to get another season out of it. And the season we ended up getting out of it wasn't great. And then we tried to organize another reunion season after that, and that was just a total and complete disaster. Um, as much fun as it was to play, it I just that no one had the motivation behind it. It was so bad that I was asked to sub. Yeah, but you weren't actually asked to play in the end, right? Huh? I, Did you end up playing? I don't know. I wasn't going to be able to play in anyway, so. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, think, never had to get I don't think oh. we ended up with anyone. We ended up with yeah. Raven as the new player. Well, Raven and wasn't that was new. it. He played season six. Oh no, he had played six. I lose track of the stuff, but yeah, um, and yeah, it just wasn't, it wasn't good enough, and yeah. we just decided bugger that. I think the main issue with that though was that Joey one didn't have the in interest in yeah. doing it. Joey didn't play, so yeah, we had um, we called Joey up on his phone and got his voicemail in the intro, which was very entertaining. Um, hey guys, this is Joel. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so it it's tough, and it's tough to see both rounds you enjoy playing, enjoy organizing, or enjoy watching die. But at some point, that's going to happen. And um, let me just quickly look at the record run wiki. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a message, good tracker of things. You messaged Does me it... saying how you were almost considering uh, that Noodle wouldn't last long because your motivation was gone. So. My motivation for it was gone, yeah. Um, However, luckily, uh, we got some conversation going on about future game modes, etc. Et and um, <laughs> now it's got a bit more of a drive behind it. I still had a good month in the middle there where I um, <laughs> stopped doing anything. But um, it's picking up again. So you can expect to see at least one more season. Um, let's have a look. Inactive recorded rounds. AP died, Miners Down Under died, Draft Crafters died, Hilton Quiver's dead, Cynical's dead, The Split's dead, Satamina's dead. I'm just looking for ones that were really notable to me. 
next yeah, story the was a one. somewhat notable one, I'd say. Oh yeah, story's down there. Hello. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Um, but Welcome yeah, back. a lot of good rounds have died just because of that reason, and that's because there's not um, there's not a reason to drive something that's not got any drive behind it. You can't yeah. force. I, I think AP is a good example nothing. of that because season yeah. eleven, that the one that ended up happening was just not that good a season. Elite. They should have ended on season ten. An actual good season know. had a lot yeah. of hype behind it. I think it. I had this discussion with you actually, bad fam, saying there's no point trying to bring something back from the dead if it's not going to be worth yeah. it. Yeah. Mm. Some things just need to stay dead, and um, yeah, I think that's the case. Especially, especially if you have the ability to end on a high. I don't know why you'd really. Yeah. Like, I suppose the only advantage to releasing that season was some people who quite clearly had wanted to be in the round for a long time. <laughs> like yeah. Brody. <laughs> Got, got to, it got was, to play. Yeah. To leave people who had been in well, I, I missed the first take of play. season 11 because I was uh, in Melbourne meeting up with people. So. Oh, right. <laughs> Whoops. Um, was it even you? I feel, uh, uh, I, 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 feel I, I feel particularly bad for Hill and Clipper because they, they did, they have. Um, I'll just say, I don't. In my opinion, they did not end on a good note. That was the, the, the I, mean, the last I think it was, was a very Hilton Clippery note. Because they, I, I'd say they are the most snowbally round, and I like. There's a lot of people I think that do like that as well. Like rounds where people snowball hardcore. Because think about it, like, um, season four, Engel, Tommy, and Wing hardcore snowball. Oh, that was a classic. Season five, Riker and Speed hardcore snowballed. <laughs> season yeah. six, Riker and Speed kind of snowballed again, just to a lesser extent. Because someone thought it'd be season good seven to put those like two on a team class. Snowballing. Uh, season season eight was alright. Season nine was Michael, Speed, Santa, and Mitch snowballing. Um, oh, season ten was alright, and then season eleven ended on a snowball again. So like they've had quite a few of those. Season two, Daniel Sherba snowball. There you go. Mm. Yeah, it's all about the roster for these things, though, and how motivated the players are and the organizers are to actually keep them running. Yeah, it's also very Just unfortunate that when it came, it's very unfortunate when it came to the mystery teams, that team happened. That yeah. team. Oh yeah, we would that, that, that team. That team would never ever be permitted hey. in any scenario that wasn't random. I, I was asked to sub for that. <laughs> <laughs> of course you were. Uh. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to do the last topic or end here since it's quite late for you guys? What's our last topic? I'm well, gonna hammer out the last one. What was the last one? Do the last one? What was the last one? Do we want to skip four and do five, or do we want to skip five and do four? Wait, there's only one I... more, isn't there? No. I think while we're while we're here, we should try to do things that are like more Australian based, to be honest. All right. Do five uh, then. Kaz, just quickly, can you update the recorded round archive to say Brody is an organizer of new? Oh, thank you. Yeah, oh no, the the uh, the fifth one we combined the new Dawn Origins, but it was kind of never done. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll discuss it a little bit now. Um, what's it like being an Australian recorded round? Um, it's fucking hugely different. There's a um, listening to people's dramas, organizing their recorded round from. A different perspective, especially scheduling, um, is really entertaining for me because it means nothing to me. Um, there's, <laughs> there's a big chat for all the recorded rounds that have been around for a while um, to schedule and make sure that they don't overlap. And I'm in that chat, but I don't need to be because I'm never going to overlap with anyone but Kawa. <laughs> Um, and that's been the case since Noonan started. Um, when we were in season two, I got in contact with Joey Ken and we had a chat together to discuss both overlapping players and overlapping when we release and game modes and all that crap. Even though we weren't in each other's rounds, we had that communication going on and we could do that because there was just the two of us. And then MDU died and Gala came around and Gala's still around now. And Zeke and, and you guys have the same communication. Still, yeah. We, we have that close talk and we always discuss what game modes we're thinking of doing to make sure that they don't end up overlapping. Same deal with newcomers. Um, I try and avoid adding people who are currently in Gala unless they fit very well in Nudon. There's never a, um, like, 
because when a new Australian comes around, like Brody's a good example, who is just generally likable, and you think, okay, this guy would be great. Zethic and I both go, okay, we want this guy, and at some point we go, okay, yeah, well, we both take him, it's fine. And it's not an overlap that's noticeable in that you look at Gala and go, oh, that's just the Nudon roster, or you look at Nudon and you go, oh, that's just the Gala no, roster. No, it it's really is. Um... different. Um, MDU is a little worse. All of the people I wanted to have in Nudon were already playing Miners Down Under, and then MDU died, and I got to steal all of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, including Joeykin, who finally made an appearance in Season 12. Despite MDU dying when we recorded Season 5. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, and then there's a couple of other people I wanted to steal that never ended up coming around, like Galana. Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry, oh, yeah, hey. was, can I just ask, Ben, was TBA, like, kind of like a scheduling link thing? TBA? TBA okay. was like a rival. Morphine, Let's open up it? a can of worms here. MDU <laughs> originally died because there was a significant split between the guys that belonged in the Nudon type group and the guys that belonged in... Well, I didn't particularly like them. Is the time. best way to describe it. Uh, we're good mates now. We all get along fine. But at the time, we were really not getting along. This was people like Delano, Conflict, Posh, and Dylan Posh are two like good friends now. I like them a lot. But at the time, couldn't stand each other. Um, and it split off because we were all assholes to each other. And we both did it. To, we all did it to ourselves. It wasn't one group being mean and the other group being innocent and everything. We were both wankers. Um, and, uh, yeah, we split off into two distinct sections, and that yeah, one section went on a people... fucking rant about it, it was great. Yeah, Breakseller had a huge rant. Actually, you might be able to open up the, um... The Miners Down Under subreddit is public, I'm on it right it now. It should be, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. When Miners Down Under died, blog. someone asked Joey to public it, and, uh... He did. What, what's yeah. it called? Just Miners Down Under? Yeah. Slash R slash Miners Down Under, yeah. Alright, I have it's never seen Landia. that. It's, it's a great read. You can see everything that happens there. Um, season 6 was supposed to be Wish Teams from Memory, but it all crashed apart in Season 5. Um, and, yeah, and then there was a very, very, very distinct split. Um, and then there was a group of us that went, okay, we still want to keep MDU running, and then there was the other group that went, get fucked, we want nothing to do with you. That group then ended up organizing TBA, and the others ended up coming to Nudon. There was a couple of people who overlapped, like Dids and Break, um, but for the most part, there was a very obvious and very significant split. Um, then TBA died, and we all ended up getting along again after about eight months a year. But that period there, there was no communication between us. We had the most bitter hate rivalry going on between the two rounds. You might actually be able to find one of the TBA posts um, yeah, where good old sad. Waxman um, came on and commented, on behalf of Nudon, we will be downvoting this post. <laughs> <laughs> Which was iconic. Um, <laughs> and I kind of walked in there after getting home from school that day and I went, um what <laughs> what the fuck just happened and wax started like a hate fueled war um but yeah it all it all fixed up later you'll you'll see it if you go through some of the tba posts and some of the nudon posts that um there was some the severe severe hate yeah uh, the minus down on the subreddit is actually a beautiful depiction of what can happen when friend groups split um but yeah there was so much hate thrown around we're all fine now um some of us still aren't good mates like i know conflict and brit do not get along at all um and if those two ever spoke to each other again it would be horrific um but for the most part all the bridges were mended and all of that i think speed and posh still have some issues that they haven't quite worked out as well but yeah it was um it was it was an interesting time and yeah there was no work at all between that and when TBA2's intro came out and I was telling them how much I loved it, I don't think anyone took it seriously. I thought they were just thinking I was being a sarcastic ass asshole. Um, but yeah. What an adventure. What, what an adventure that Honestly, was. Thank you for bringing me down memory lane. <laughs> Honestly, TBA2 was one of my favourite rounds. You know, Conflict and Derby was one of the most, like, I didn't expect them to win that game. 
Alright. Yeah, I, I never actually watched it because I couldn't stand most of the people in it. But <laughs> Jake, you were just being a Go ahead and watch it now that you. Alright, you like, and Carlo are now rivals. They're bitter enemies. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I don't think it, it wouldn't work the same because we don't I have that overlap. The same. <laughs> yeah. We have that overlap, whereas with um, the the TBA, the New Dawn split that we had. Um, it was like a legit split, just about. Let me have a look. Who actually overlapped? Um, who overlapped at the time? I think the only player who was in both at the time was Brakes, Alan. And Dibs. Dibs and Brakes. Mm. Um, I think someone else was in there. I think... Uh, yeah, Matt was still considered part of Nudon despite having not played for a long time, and Posh was the same, and that's why Posh didn't appear for, like, 12 seasons, was because of that, because we had that big split, and then he came back all of a sudden because we were good friends again. Come back for 10, Brody, was it? Nine. Or 9. Came back for 9, yep. yeah. And we all got along again. So, yeah, I think it was between, <laughs> I think, seasons 4 and 9 of Nudon was when that split happened. Um, and season five had all the all the MDU additions for the people on the other side of it. Um, Break, Link, Esky, to name a few. Um, Re as well. Um, yeah. And so Link yeah. disappeared and came back for nine as well. Yeah, nine yeah. was great. Nine saw the um, the return of a bunch of people, and then eleven I think also had a couple of people come back out of nowhere. And 12 hopefully, cool. twelve had Break and Joey. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Um, hopefully that might happen again for a future season, but we'll see how how things go. Hint, hint. <laughs> yeah. Stay tuned. Let's just say the Newton Discord's a good place. The Newton Discord's mm. amazing. Yeah. It, and like that's Newton's one of the few rounds that can actually get away with that because no one ended up. Well, aside from a few people, most people didn't end up leaving on bad terms. They just left because they didn't have that interest. There was never. Well, there was very few people that ended up getting kicked, which is cool. And uh, I was yeah, able to say to people, so, hey, would you like to come chat? Yeah. And everyone was like, yeah, sure. Are. Basically, we have so a, we a have... veterans rank that just has a bunch of people that aren't members of the round, so they probably won't be appearing unless they want to guest, I guess. Yeah, unless we're very lucky. But they're all in the Discord and can talk with us and play games with us. And, yeah, yeah, and Camp was one of those people. He hasn't. Which is how he, he I don't think he's tonight. even opened Minecraft in uh, years. But yeah, that's how he ended up here tonight, because we were lucky enough to have him be online at the time when I said, hey, anyone want to come look, come join in? And Camp was like, yeah, sure, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. But yeah, it's got, I think we have 11 veterans from memory. Um, let's see if I can get that up, actually. Roles, veterans. 10, I think. Uh, it might be 10, yeah. Um, yeah, 10, and then Nolid is also considered, but he doesn't use Discord. Uh-uh. It- I don't know if we have any time left, but I, I, I want to talk about like some of like, it's like we never had this during this type of podcast, like talking about um, art in recorded rounds. Yeah, go ahead, Zev. Um. Okay. So. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not topic. Speak. <laughs> yeah. It's Surprise. A, it's a new. Yeah. So it's a little new topic, but I was. I've got been someone trying, here been, could actually. Yeah, I've flog. been dying to. T- I've been dying to talk about it because. Um, That's here crying I about think... his lack of control. Huh? <laughs> I haven't been listening yeah. for ages. Dude, okay, We've got made a new topic. Oh, don't use God my God. real name, We've please. Made a... well, I hate I'm having sorry, my real okay. name Go used. back to not okay, listening, then. Time. Carry on, Okay, Zed. bad time. Um, okay, so, here's, here's the story. Um, BJ was messaging me one day, and he was like, Hey, Zev, um, you know... <laughs> hey, hey, B- hey, Zev, um... You know, for Newton's um, anniversary season, um, do you think you can do art for us? I'm like, yeah, sure. So I did, and I was meant to be a guest for season seven. Yeah, I, because... um, I, I was like, I can't ask her to do it without, um, you know, giving her some kind of incentive. So I said, hey, Zev, you know, you can guest for one season, because I hadn't really spoken to you. I just knew you could draw good. Um, and I was like, I don't know who this person is, but I'll let him play a season if they draw us pretty pictures. Um, and, you know, the rest is history, really. Yeah, so, uh, it was kind of like, alright, because when Season 7 came out, it was during this time when I saw, like, a lot of, I think this is when the art thread was still alive on the re- recorded round. So, you know, not on the UHC subreddit, like, the art thread was still alive, um, 
and one of one person was like you know i really really want like um you know as like you said uh animated art and all the other stuff so i thought okay you know what i'm just gonna see what i can do so every season became like an experiment for me um but the thing is art takes like a really long time to make and it's sometimes like i'm not gonna lie like every single season like for season eight I was expecting to do something like every single season one new piece of art for every single person. That was my original plan when I played season seven. And when season eight came around, I kind of like was in the middle of I was in the middle of revamping everyone, but I really didn't like how it ended up. So I I deleted everything and probably it will probably be, be deleted for for like forever. And it was not until season 9 came around where I revamped it again. And I revamped it again, yet again, in season 11, A. And it wasn't until... Um, and it was around season 12 when I wanted to go and collaborate with Sid on the animated intro, which didn't turn out well in the end. But I, I just want to say that uh, there's a lot of like discussion on whether or not... Um, like 2D art is fit, it's like it fits for Minecraft recorded rounds. Like people were discussing about that because some people think that uh, when you talk about Minecraft recorded rounds, you think about renders or maybe uh, you know, those type of stuff. I guess you can say that. When I think of your actual recorded rounds, I think of this series to be honest. All right, big headed much. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's my contribution because that was the I last thing say, I heard though, Dave, your commitment to improving every season is out of this world it blows my mind every time you come to me and say hey check out this new piece of art I've drawn what do you think um, like when I invited you to do it I expected the season 7 art and then I was hoping I could get you to do future players as well but I wouldn't have been surprised if we went back to skins and renders etc um, and then you went, actually, I'd like to redo it. And I've got a couple of the pieces that you redid from season eight. Um, there's a good camper one in there as well. And then you went and blew my mind. I think season nine, you did the next set, right? Yeah, I do. I, I did once every two seasons after season yeah, seven. Season nine, you did a new set and the season nine set was so pretty. Um, and then <laughs> you went to season 11 and season 11's art was phenomenal. It was beyond anything I'd expected to ever see. Um, I'm just going to have a look at the progress on my wiki here. Um, uh, season 9... Oh, yeah, Season 9 was, like, much better. And then Season 11 was out of this world fantastic. And the fact of the matter is, like, I've seen little bits of the art you're doing for the next set that you plan to do. And, oh, my God, people are in for something amazing. You've got the Campbell Season 8 art, like the the scrapped one on the subreddit. Yeah, like yeah, there's a not used there. Activated. Yeah, where, um, mm -hmm. and I think there's an Alex one as well from memory. It's not linked, yeah, Season 8, season, like the revamp for Season 8 that I was planning kind of fell flat. Yeah, but um, then you went again with Season 9 and it just blew my mind. Yeah. Season 8 fell flat, I believe, because I, I remember that when you posted the Campbell one, it, but I, and I got added two weeks before season eight came out, I think. I think it was just time issues. Mm. But yeah, well, you've just done so, so well. And I, I huge congrats to you for that. And I well, hope everyone I... appreciates just the uh, the huge amount of work that's gone into that. No, no, no. Because if you think about um, art in Recorder Rounds, I think some of like, the most notable ones are the evolution intros. Um, what else? WMC. Definitely WMC. Yeah, WMC, WMC is WMC. notable yeah. art. No, Evolution's got notable w art. WMC is one of my favourite recorded round intro. Has was some of my favourite recorded round intros. But I guess it's kind of like... um. I guess it's kind of like um understandable. Because Q18 only... like I think he, she revamps like kind of little. But it's understandable, to be honest. He's done the one piece of artwork for people and then changed it when it's been needed and not done any more work than she's had to do. Whereas you, 
gone, okay, I've done this work, and now I'm going to yeah. do it again and again and I, again. I, I honestly think you're the most admirable recorded around the artist because of that. Yeah, 100%. Also, also Keys gets doubt. paid to do it, to be fair. Yeah, yeah and I'd pay Zev if she'd let me. There, there are a lot of artists who aren't willing to, like, even fix things after they've done the art. Yeah, 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 exactly. And they won't do extra stuff without getting paid, and... They, yeah, I, I think that dedication to improving and always. So really, Zeta's a brilliant person, and everyone should uh, follow her on Twitter. And no, when you have no, 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 no. So you, you, you're, you you're, you're blessed to you know, have somebody get, who can uh, like consistently do art. Uh, in, in terms of other, I'm blessed like, I think to have Kat does a good job with the Nuzlocke art. Yes, oh, yeah. that's one of It's quite I was iconic. Kat does an as much as I job. Don't like but, the way he talks about it and how long it takes. I uh, have to say he's done a fantastic job with it. Um, I only have one problem with Cat's art, and it's that I feel like it's kind of um, you know, it's kind of like tracing over the original Pokemon art. If you know what I mean. Mm. I, I mean, like, there's nothing wrong with that. Honestly, I'm okay with that, and it's so good. But um, it kind of like. I, I and I get it because it kind of relates back to Pokemon, but it kind of like you know it kind of like makes me it kind of like irks me a little bit, but I'm not too bothered about it. Hmm. I get that. Understandable. Anyway, I think we've gone on for long enough. So yeah, we. If really anyone really wants to put their final final words in, leave leave it to the actual people who run this podcast. Yeah, I was gonna say me, me and Dom have just kind of taken the back seat here. This is the least. <laughs> this is the least I've said on a podcast. <laughs> Since the, since the series started, honestly. But it's good. You guys have got lots to say, and that's, that's nice, because the last thing we want is to have rounds on here, and then they just sit in silence and have, like... And, like, when they bring people on who don't know much about recorded rounds, it's like, um... I think when we had the Out of Orbit episode, I don't know who they bought, but, like, their third person, really cool person, like, represents the rounds well, but, like doesn't like really watch our hours so didn't have much to say to the conversations you guys clearly know your shit so th thank you a lot and I, I, Ben I, I, please I, I like change your fucking team to speak watching. name I'm not happy <laughs> with that I've just noticed that <laughs> I was messaging you on team speak and I didn't even notice that <laughs> oh fuck okay well are we all good to end <laughs> off I'm okay. Um, I'm okay. Oh yeah, no! I'm okay. Stop! <laughs> I'm okay. No, I'm okay with ending off if we can do that topic we missed next week. Well, next time we do it. Oh yeah, I think sure. A good topic. I, I think so you guys should. Look forward to that. Yeah, you can. Is... You can wait. Hopefully, two weeks, but it's more likely to be a month and a half by our standards. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. We've exceeded the two-hour mark. You're the, you're the second <laughs> round to do it, along with WMC. <laughs> So, so congratulations. Um, so yeah, um, we will see you next time for some more. Thank you for coming, New Dawn. It's been a pleasure. No it's been a pleasure to be here, guys. Gl yeah. Glad we finally got this done <laughs> after quite a long time of planning. <laughs> it's taken a little while, yeah. of planning, but yes, we 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 made it work. Yeah, I remember when Dark was in your uh, New Dawn. Well, oh yeah. Right. Do you? It was, it was a good X friend. Dark Force XX. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thank listening. you for watching, guys. Yeah, yeah listening. I would say thanks for watching, but you don't really watch a podcast, do you? Unless you just want to sit there and watch the art. Which you can do, because it's fucking fantastic art. Thanks to Cute Shot once again. Right, we'll wrap yeah. this up here. Yeah. Thanks thank for watching, guys. See you listening. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Alright, just see you later.